Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello and welcome. Hello. We love to hate everything. I'm Jody, and I am Aminata, and welcome to oh, our show. Little welcome technical to our difficulty. Who, as who always, knew? who knew? Technical <laughs> who difficulties. Knew? Oh, speaking of who knew, we got a whole bunch of Instagram pictures to look at later. The spam oh, Jody. Only in Hawaii, she says. Only in Hawaii. Oh. Spam. Can you believe it? Oh, Janelle, <laughs> Janelle. Well, hey, uh, we got some in some accidental merch merchandising. We didn't, we didn't even mean to match lost. again. Yeah. No, it's just uh, cozy. We're so cold. We're tiny and very cold. Um, yeah. The There is a sale at Redbubble currently, 20% mm -hmm. off everything. So you guys can check that out and buy your yeah. buy some merch. That's right. We get or you find. no money, basically, but like, yeah. you, you know, maybe a few cents. Got, it's for branding. Got to keep that yeah. brand up. That's right. Let's uh, let's talk about. Well, let's let's get a couple disclaimers out of the way here. We couldn't put out a TRP episode this week uh, because uh, this gal hey. got her first shot of Ozempic on Wednesday, and oh, I did not. Oh, oh, Ozempic. You know. I feel like shit. It uh, knocked me fucking out more. The doctor told so me this. Worth it though. He's like, you're going to feel like garbage for okay. like at least a week. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I don't know why I thought that it wouldn't. Because uh, everything has a horrible effect on me. Yeah. So stabbed myself in the leg. Didn't feel a thing. Good. And then uh, threw up for about 16 hours. And then when there was no more to throw up, it was just dry heaving and a lot of pooping. So much pooping. Like, uh, out, huh? Oh, I was just sick as shit. And now I'm not puking anymore, but I'm just like, I feel like I'm like living in a fog. I texted Jody and Justine this morning, like, if I knew where to find cocaine, I would buy some for today. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, Shane on Love is Blind, we could hit him up because he might allegedly like such substances uh, anya galernt dunkel tough student ambassador says you feel like shit, but it gets better i've so. been talking to a lot of people yeah. who are on it mary jane one of my aunts is on it um but holy shit, like i just did not take the warning seriously like i didn't yeah. i wish he'd gone more in on how much like shit i was going to feel okay it sucks so my mom came over uh, on Friday. She brought me, she made me a smoothie. I make Ron mm. smoothies every morning, Amanda. So I'll bring you one. She came he, over, he probably she, has soft teeth. <laughs> he, she put away all of the stuff in my backyard for winter. Um, wow. So yeah, it was, it was good. So now I'm going over there on Wednesday when I take my second injection just so I can be babied, babied by my Aww, mother for my that's second adorable. injection. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, it's, that's adorable. They, As I'm I drinking my my new Coca Cola Zero, I'm, kind I'm of drinking ginger on the ale. Caffeine train. Ooh, that's yeah. yummy. I know. Jody suggested coffee for me this morning, and I'm like, mm. "You want me to shit more? I can't." You, you I sound like Cody after his tummy got so upset because he drank some soda pop, and that's some why sodies. Christine looked the sight. Of this chubby girl, Jody. There was to say I was everywhere. <laughs> to say I was disgusted would be an understatement. And I quote, and I quote, <gasps> "It'll well, be like the last quote that I hear in my head before I pass away." I think, like mm -hmm. on my deathbed, I'll be, I'll be 
going through that passage of the book. Yeah. If anyone it doesn't know what we're talking about, you guys can check out our um, other videos on this channel because we yep. did do a complete read through of the New York Times best selling Robin Brown book. That's the right. Sister wife. right. And it's an explosive book. <laughs> In pure brown Express style. Brown family. Yep, that's right. <laughs> now, uh, um, you have not watched this episode, and I have. No. I mean, I don't even know how to prepare you for this. This is this is it. To this say is it was, one. Is, was explosive would be an understatement. This was the most explosive. Really? Yes. Oh it was... God. Walter didn't know what to do because my energy was so different while I was watching it. So he kept like climbing up on me and like spinning around and like licking my face because I think he thought I was like mad at him because I kept oh. screaming and I was just so worked up. Oh, you boy. have no idea the amount of things you're going to see in this episode. It's wild and... The chat is lit right now. People are <laughs> excited. Oh, okay. And somehow I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry. It probably sounds really annoying, but it goes in and out lately. I don't know what's going on, but um, I'm going to chalk it up to the, what do you call it? Chinook something? The Chinook. The Chinook. Chinook. Well, it's only in Calgary though, but yeah, sure. No, I think we get like, there's something with the weather. I don't think front so, waves that Chicago gets when you guys get. Do you, did your, do your clouds like go in a straight line? And then the top is clouds, and then the bottom is just, like, blue sky. That's what a Chinook is. Well, we have, like, the lake effect and all that kind of stuff. Don't. We'll save our meteorology lesson for another day. And you have, you know, the impending, threat, uh, the impending threat of World War Three also in America. So that's fun for you. Right, right, right. Anyone wants yeah, to come up and live in Canada, I have the Purple Room is open to anyone who wants to escape. That might make me more sick. The purple. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the purple room is lovely. I'm just not a purple girl, but I know Daphne. If anyone's gonna do purple right, it's gonna. I be said I'd like I'd like a, a dash of purple in there, and uh, my God, <laughs> she went full fledged on it. Oh, um, not a surface has not been purpled. Okay, let's talk about what we got coming up this week. It's pretty much the same as we announced last week because I could not get out of bed for three days, but. We got, um, okay, so a secret marriage. Yes. We got Annie. A secret marriage part one, one, and uh, TRP will be finally doing the Righteous Gemstones. Yeah. The episode called, did you watch it? I you did. Because we were yes. about to record and I was like, I can't do it. Is it good? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think I need to watch another episode to decide where I. Sure. It's it's just it's very different. <coughs> Sorry, that was like disgusting. There's a so lot of, well. of accents. Oh, what kind of accents? Like a a southern I just religious oh, southern accent. Louisiana oh, accent. oh, uh, <laughs> John Goodman is just rolling off like molasses. You, you, like molasses just dripping out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot go ten minutes without doing it. An and of course, his reference. name is Eli. Oh, Eli. Eli. Oh, mm, right. Um, by the way, our, our, one of our other podcasts is called TRP, Total Request Podcast. If anyone wants to submit a suggestion for that, you can anything, but keep mm -hmm. it less than an hour, please. We don't we don't have time for that. You can uh, send it to amandajoldy1 at gmail.com. That's right. I think that's it. Yep. Smash that like also. God damn it. Smash that uh, like. Yeah, come on. Just especially to the like button, a little thumbs up. Let's do this, right? Yeah, we're both feeling like trash, so that'll help us. We're pulling uh, out all the better. stops. All yep. the stops, baby. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, let's. Do you want to move on to some hot, hot topics? Oh my God, yes. Okay. Okay. And we're going to blast through hot topics on what are we watching because we need to concentrate on okay. the episode. Okay, I'll follow your lead. So I trust insane. you. Um, let, well, you shouldn't trust me because look at me here. Okay, here we go. Hot tub. All right, what do we got? I I got a couple of hot topics that I think are hilarious to talk about. Um, what do you got? Oh, well, I am holding off to watch the Love is Blind reunion until later this week. Oh, I watched it's it. My... It's bad. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, well, I mean, I guess there's only two couples that we're really tuning in for after the ceremony, but um, yeah, 
Oh, shoot. I was going to use that as like my reward getting through the week and work. And oh, everything. actually, maybe Man. it's not bad. I watched it last night after Sister Wives. So I was like oh, okay. stimming, basically. So I was barely okay. paying attention. So I'll probably rewatch it. Um, okay. It just Stacy really has got a problem with Johnny. I, and you know what? I think the problem Still? is. Still? Yes. This is what I think her problem is because I had a similar experience. I had this friend who was, the relationship was very toxic for both of us, but she also was my personal trainer. And she was like conventionally pretty, tall, thin. And this is my summer of like slut. So I was just like dating tons of guys and they were all like super into me and telling me all these things. And at one point she said, I don't get it. Like, why are all these guys falling in love with you? And I was like, you're saying that because you know that I'm not conventionally pretty and you don't understand why. <gasps> like, I, I knew that's what it was. I think that's what it is between Stacey okay, and Okay, not Johnny. true. You're gorgeous. I'm not conventionally pretty. I, I'm a character actress. I'm, everyone in the chat doesn't need to come and like, you know, make me feel better. But, um... I was like, well, because I have a good personality and I'm fun to hang around, but like, you're not. You're just tall and thin. Okay. You don't think it's because, uh, what's his face? Izzy. Izzy. Who's Ishmael, by the way. Uh, okay. it, it just like threw me for a loop when their names was like Ishmael and Stacy. I was like, who? Are... I like the name Ishmael way better than Izzy. The Izzy name. Sounds stupid. Uh, I think it's just that he liked someone else before her, so she's got to pull Alpha, which is basically what you're saying as well. But also, Was um, but Johnny is more of a character face than Stacy. Stacy wears a shit ton of makeup. She's very thin. She's pretty conventionally, and okay. Johnny, Johnny looks like more of like a character. And she's like, she seems very nice. I think they're both she like average pretty. They're fine. Right. Sure. Yeah, I wouldn't stop on the street and be like, oh my God, that girl's beautiful. I'd be like, oh, she's a pretty but person. Okay. Johnny does have a better personality than Stacy. Stacy sucks. Yeah. And well, and then yes. also, but I mean, you got to deal with that huge, enormous $3,500 credit card debt that Izzy has. Did they address that? Just tell me. They yes kind of no talk. Business. Yeah, they kind of talk about it, but it's not like it. They don't delve into it in any way. But, um, okay. Now that was that's more of a what are we watching topic, Joe. Oh, okay, uh, okay. But, okay, my favorite thing. Oh God, I don't, I don't really follow Teen Mom news, but I cannot fucking get over how obsessed I am with these two idiots. Okay, Shit. so yeah, fill me in a little bit. So last I heard, um, okay, and here's the thing: I always tread carefully on Mondays on TikTok because. Our, our algorithm knows who we are. So sister wife uh -huh. stuff is going to come up. So I try to just like avoid it or if I, am, uh, whatever, I'll like swipe past it because I don't want to know yet. Right. Oh, by the way, we're talking about Janelle, uh, Janelle and David Eason for anyone who's li from just Team listening. From Team Mom or Team from Mom, Team Mom too, whatever. Yeah. Um, okay. So last I heard, Jace was taken out of their home. Barbara was given custody and there's a, an order against Janelle and David from seeing or talking to him. Yeah, so he okay. can contact Janelle, but she's not allowed to reach out to him. So if he oh. wants to contact her, he can. David is completely forbidden from contacting Jace. Now, for anyone who doesn't know the backstory here, um, Janelle and David, I mean, if you don't know who they are, you can go and listen to uh, 3,000 back episodes. I see. Yeah, well, hi, hi, hi. Y'all, hi. Um, Janelle, you come in here. You steal my credit card. I mean, what are you doing here? I see how you see all these bills for gas. You, you're spending gas in New Jersey. Are you going to take care of the baby when she calls Jace the baby? Just Always the baby. Anyway. Um, but anyway, so they finally got custody back, back of Jace. He's 14. And he escaped out of his window like three times in the past couple months. And this pa this most recent time david like beat the shit out of him it got captured on a ring cam <gasps> no you didn't know that no oh yeah it got captured oh, on a ring cam man. whoopsie daisy david uh because i think it ha like something happened it like Legit wasn't at their hanging him up yeah oh. and he had and jace had bruises all over himself like and this was delivered to the public by the police like the police have these things in custody. So I don't know how the fuck they're going to get out of this. I feel like they're going to. Because for some reason, neither of them ever get into yeah, I was going to say, and he's not arrested? Like, you can't... 
Well, it's being investigated. So, and also Barbara doesn't have custody. He's in the custody of CPS right now, but Barbara's looking after him. But she does okay, not okay. have custody. Got Fine. it. Fine. Um, then they had a court date, and um, where Janelle, it was just supposed to be Janelle, like talking about custody, and like David walked into the courtroom, and it shocked everyone. They all grasped their pearls, and they had to kick him out. And I think he was like kicking and screaming about it. So he gets kicked out of the courtroom. Oh, he'll show them. Never a good idea. To, also, like, show it to the court system. It's not going to go your way. Yeah, you're not going to stick it to anyone, David. Also, um, CPS had a, a couple like meetings. They were supposed to come and like do or um, visitations, like where they come and like check the house. And sure. both times they tried to go, David like chased them out with a gun because they were trespassing even though oh, this was a legal okay. visitation. So um, that's where we are now. But uh, Janelle, Janelle is doubling down. She posted some video saying like, I, I'm just going to stick with my, my marriage. This was, she posted this a couple years ago when they first got investigated by CPS, where she's like, my marriage is the most important thing in my life before my kids or anything. So that's important. So then um, now David, went seven days without drinking, which I also do not believe. And Janelle posts this. This is the one thing she posted to her Instagram this week. This guy hasn't touched alcohol in seven days. I lit. Well, I literally just said, just don't feel like drinking anymore. Okay, none of that is true. And this is what she chooses to post while all of this is happening. You're about to go to jail. And I mean, that, Ky- I mean, Kaiser, that's great if he makes that decision, but it's not just I mean, Janelle, if anyone should know, it's not just like one day you're like, just don't feel like it. So I quit. Like, the, right. this is an ongoing thing. And he doesn't seem to have a very good track record for like sticking with good decisions. You know? Yeah. Uh, so that's what's happening. I hope he fuck. I, he, Justine said this, I think, too. He should not be allowed to live in society at all. He should be in jail for the rest of his life. He's a danger to everyone he encounters. <sighs> And is Kaiser still with them? Yeah. And Ensley? Oh, man. Yeah. And Marissa, the one who testified against them the first time. Still? Yeah. Because her mother is, like, such a piece of, like, garbage, too. Oh, my God. I hate all of this. Yeah. He's dangerous. This is not going to, I don't even want to say end well, but, like. Yeah. Oh, uh, people are saying, yeah, um, Grace Report, definitely, like, uh, uh, because this is not investigative journalism I'm doing. I'm really just watching TikTok videos obsessively. But if you really want, like, really great coverage on this, check out Grace Report, because she's great. Um, Don't check out Without a Crystal Ball. I I did my my 90 Day Fiance Alive little segment with... uh, Grace from the Grace. That's right. You were wearing your Mary time ago. I did. A little Mary vest. (laughs) How's your Halloween costume going, by the way? Um, I I still need to pick up a few items of flair. Uh huh. But I think I got it. You don't even know. I I, I have no idea what it is. Uh, For uh, uh, everyone knows, I am going as Vagina Daddy, aka Robin (laughs) Brown's dad, Daddy. In the splash zone. Um, yeah, I got suspenders. I got a camera. I, I'm just, I, I have, I have a you wig. You have like one of those bald wigs with like the hair on the side. Like a George no, but Costanza he has a full, wig. he has a full head, head of hair though. Uh, he has a full of head of white. He does. White. Of course he does. All right. <laughs> so that's what's going on with Janelle and David. And I hope that he, um, I don't know, goes to jail forever and then gets unalived in jail. That would be a great situation, I think. Allegedly, allegedly, he murdered their French bulldog puppy in front of their. Well, that's still allegedly too. I mean, I fully believe that he did, but that's just a belief. He admitted to doing it. He like posted a video talking about. I thought there was a retraction. No, there was never a retraction. (laughs) He's like Uh proud of it. He's like, I'm protecting my family. Because baby Ensley kind of was like fucking with the dog, and then the dog kind of nipped. Didn't even touch her. And he Didn't her. Janelle get a little upset because people said that Ensley maybe should have been fitted for a helmet? Oh, yeah. She, like, took offense Which, to that. I mean, if you look at a picture of Ensley, yes. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. that. Um, Amanda, Amanada, 
Yes. Breaking news, Vagina Daddy died early 2022. Well, we're not in 2022 really yet in the timeline, but I'm sure that oh, okay, Robin's okay. going to make sure that that's a whole storyline because that she can get more attention. But also oh, R.I.P. Vagina Daddy. Very you sad. Took, you took some top-notch pics of Robin's open vagina. Great. Oh, who's going back to look at that? Like, oh, look, look, look. This is right where your, your hair started showing in your mom's vagina. And, oh, and this one. This one's a really cute one. This is where um, your dad was um, wrist deep pulling you out. It's yeah. really good. It's cute. He's like, let me just get my camera, like, right in there, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, beyond the lips. Mm -hmm. Uh, my friend oh. Erica and my friend Erica had a baby and she was showing us pictures and it was me and like a bunch of my uh, gay friends and bacon fingers, my ex-boyfriend, don't worry about him. But um, she's like, this one I don't really want to show you because you guys will never unsee it. And we're like, no, no, show us. And it was just a picture of her. She's screaming in the picture and it's just her open vagina with just a head sticking out of it. Uh, and I'll never no, unsee no. it. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, like I love birth and like most you amazing love birth. experience and everything. I totally could like give birth like every day. Like it's just like an incredible oh thing, God. but I don't I don't want to see me giving birth. Right. I mean, well, I can say all the way down. <laughs> Um, okay, let's talk about the other big news topic of the week. Uh, are you are you uh, you're you're following the chat, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um Okay, this is I'm I'm equally as obsessed with this as everything else. And is that what this is? Yes. Okay. 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 I cannot stop like being obsessed with this. It's Jada Pinkett Smith uh, reveals her and Will have been separated for seven years. What did this man do to her to make her want to ruin his life this much? Have you not done enough? Well, I don't think it's any surprise or any um, any wonder, like, if she is a narcissist or not. She clearly is a narcissist. Oh, she seems awful. awful. And it might be one of those scenarios where, like, a couple separates or divorces, right? And one or the other makes it their mission to make the other one miserable for the rest of their lives, whether they're together or not. Well, she's done it, babe. So you like, you're punishing them if you're career. together, you're punishing them if you're apart. And I think she's just, I, I think she knows everything and she's, I don't know, maybe he finally said no about something and then she's just going to like. Well, and they also famously did not sign a prenup. Which, smart, Will. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've always thought she was just like a bit <laughs> You know, read, read this comment. That's funny. Catherine, just wait till Meghan Markle is going to say, hold my beer. I'm, Do you I'm not a, um, I'm not a huge Markle fan. Oh yeah. I don't think they're going to stay together. I, I, I'm not a fan of hers, but. Do you think he'll go back to, um, like England? Oh, I think he to wants family? to for sure. Why would you not? Best she's, life ever. She's, I don't know. Um, not, I don't think she's as bad as Jada, but like, holy shit. Like, mm, why is she I think doing she's she very calculating. Okay. She's Canadian though, Jody. Meghan Markle? No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she Isn't grew she? up in LA. She's an actress. Her dad was like the like headlighting Canadian. dude on. No, she filmed suits in Canada. Huh? Hmm. But they live in Vancouver now, right? Well, you can have her. I mean, if you if you want her, you can have her. I don't want her, That's babe. That's totally fine. Um, actually, I don't really care. Okay, no, she isn't. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, everyone. Um, I guess she's not Canadian. Fine. Uh, but okay. uh, Will is just... The way she's emasculated this man, and the fact that, like... And she's, she does this... Um, uh, interview with Hoda Kotb. Kotb? Oh. Kotb. Uh, uh -huh. Where she's like... Uh, Chris Rock was apologizing to me actually and then Will got really angry that he was even talking to me and this is all and I said Chris this is all old shit this is all old stuff um, she was like I just I, I, I feel like alopecia just needs to be seen as more of a serious disease and it's like you're fine and you also have hair I don't actually yeah. really think she has alopecia uh, but she like he punched he punched Chris Rock on national television, albeit amazing moment. 
keep my wife's I mean, name out of your mouth. Yes. She was surprised that she, that he's, she was like, I was surprised he even referred to me as wife. It's like, well, because you're not divorced. You won't divorce him. And you're presenting as a married couple. You were at yes. the awards show sitting next to each other. Yeah. Showing yourself as a hand married couple. Hand. And that's what they sold. The cap in hand. Cap in hand. Yeah, no, they would go everywhere together. And they were like, the, ooh, we're the... But um, then they had this open relationship Hollywood they couple. talked about. Yeah. Yeah, um, that was going to be like the first leak. I think she's just got a lot of dirt on him that she calculated and saved up over the years. And, and then, I mean... I mean, we got to be careful here, but I think there is like some sort of weird Scientology component. Probably, but like, honestly... I've always loved Will Smith, and I actually don't think that he's, like, this total bastard whose career should be over now. Like, that should have been the best night of his life. That should have been the best night of his mm -hmm. life, and it was completely ruined. Because Jada yeah. can't take a fucking joke. Um, uh, yeah, so... Uh, fucking nuts. Yeah. Well, I mean whatever i it's like i just i don't even want to give her any attention because it's just what she wants yeah. i hope no one's red that table book. talk just ugh, well gross. that got canceled so i think that she's constantly trying to keep herself relevant it's like you were never relevant you were always just will smith's wife and yeah. you were in the opening you're the first girl killed in the scream 2 movie that's like how i remember her okay well i don't even remember that she was in like the toilet stall I think she gets like stabbed through, like stabbed, like through the toilet stall, right? I don't want to die in the toilet. Don't let me die in the toilet. It'd be horrible. I probably will die in the toilet the amount of time I spend on the toilet. Uh, anyway, that's a, uh, is Jada an actress? I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she fancies herself an actress. She's yeah. not anything. She thinks that she's just really smart. And I feel like Red Table Talk is just her, her way. Yes, exactly. Is her way of just like being like, mm, well, in my experience, yep. this is what I think about it. It's like, you're an idiot. All right. Yeah. Um, couple other things. Uh, we can just blow through these, though. Um, yep. I saw this thing on TikTok where this girl... <laughs> Goes on this date with this guy, and he he asked her out for like a drink, and then she ordered <laughs> ordered forty eight oysters for herself, and then also an entree, because like oysters were like on sale that time, and then she got a bunch okay. of drinks, and then he like walked out. And he's like, I'm not paying for this, and then she did a TikTok where she's like, Can you fucking believe that? What an asshole! And everyone's like, No, you're the asshole. She 48 ordered forty eight oysters. Forty eight oysters. <laughs> yes. And eat them all. She's dying on the toilet. Like I never <laughs> yeah. had an oyster, but he like I dying. know. Yeah, he's leaving. Oh, hey, Titi Titi Doll. Doll. Oh, welcome no back. back. Oh, we love you. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I mean, forty-eight oysters. Holy shit! Remember that Mad Men episode I had you watch where like they eat a bunch of oysters? It's so weird you said that. I was just talking about that episode the other day. Really? It's a good yes. episode. That was what I was trying to remember what that was. Was there a housewife who she was like a closet he, alcoholic or something? No, too? he hit uh, John Slattery's character hit on Don's wife while he was at dinner with them. So then Don took him out and they got a whole bunch of oysters. He paid off the elevator guy at their building to stop the elevator. So they had to walk up like 52 uh, floors and then they got up there and John Slattery like pukes on the floor in front of like that the people they were supposed to because they had a bunch of oysters and then just martini 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 oh, oh god oh. <laughs> oh like the the oysters mixed with the acid of a martini can't um there was a bus driver who got in trouble because she was driving and uh, drinking a white claw and she like somehow is not getting charged because she said that she didn't know that it was alcoholic because it looks like a pop. Well, it doesn't taste like soda pop, babe. It tastes like alcohol, babe. Especially gonna... when it's it, it gets to like room temp. The only time those are good is the first four sips when it's ice cold, and then after that, it's garbage. There's I don't think no I've ever had way. a white claw. Um, uh, great. She said that she was she lived with roommates, and so she just grabbed like a drink from the fridge. 
and oh whoopsies and was like and driving the kids on the bus, bus were like hey this hey, bus you're... driver you're drinking a white claw because kids know what that is yeah obviously well she's not getting charged um also another one, one last thing is um she's uh, going she... to chemo and it messes with her taste meredith says Okay, it does. All That's right. true. See, I don't really do a lot of investigation into any of my topics. I just watch a bunch of TikTok videos and like write I stuff mean, on my notes app. I don't want to think a bus driver would knowingly drink alcohol and drive a bus. But While that, like, driving. Or at least put it in like a, you know, a coffee cup or something. Well, maybe she truly didn't know. I mean, listen, my, my mom did accidentally steal a car once. That is, and... that is true. Put her cordless telephone in her purse and thought it would work like a cell phone from a different oh location. So, you know, there is um, that. one last thing. And I don't know why I listened to this last night, but I went back and here, here another here, here's more promo for TRP. OK, which needs to get more love. There's so many back episodes there. Oh, we Check have to have hundreds out. at this point. Hundreds. And like people are like, oh, I'm not finding this episode. Because for all the back at, b backlog, you have to go to patreon.com slash trpod. That's where all our back episodes are. It's like five yeah. bucks. Um, yeah. I listened to our extreme forensics episode and I was like pissing my pants laughing. No, do you want to Oh, the one that, that you, the one yes. that you were the star of, guys. Yeah. Amanda. I still have the pictures somewhere on my phone. I can pull them up. You want me to pull them up, babe? I mean, I don't really care. I mean, you can just go watch the... It's free, I think, on, like, Investigation Discovery or something. Well, Amanda um, was a, I mean, rising star actress, right? Yeah. And you like got Meghan cast Markle. Yeah. to play a murder victim yeah. whose husband murdered her after she found out she was pregnant. Uh -huh. And someone request. Oh no! Wait, did I assign this episode? I think I you think assigned it to me. This was back when we were like doing two a week, and you assigned it to and me. And you're like, I hate you. Um, it was a tough one. Yeah. So we. I'm looking for the photo. I'm sorry. This is like rude looking down. But um, yeah, we watched the episode. You you do some um, work with like a gun, where you like pick up a gun and you're like, oh my god, that's oh, right. What's this? I'm like, whoop! Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Because that's what yep. the husband said that they, um, because she was found. I'm looking for it. She was found naked. So the husband's excuse was that uh, they made some sweet, sweet love. And then she accidentally, that she found the gun while he was in the bathroom and accidentally yep. killed herself. Um, and I just tell the story of how awful that gig was and how, it, like, I never, I will, I've never done a, an extra work after that. hundred bucks I got paid for that. A hundred dollars. And then you got the worst flu of your life on the way back. I did. I got I got the flu because they made me run around with this stupid kid. And then they cut the kid out of the entire uh, episode. Oh, so they had me like improv with this child who didn't like me. I didn't like her. And we had to like play with blocks and shit. And I'm running around outside in like December in a tank top because the murder actually took place in the summer. And you so had to around. act like you were in love with this you're soon to be douchebag yeah he was such a dick he was such okay, so extreme a dick. forensics just look it up i'm sure you're in the imdb for it right uh yeah i'm oh definitely uh yeah just <laughs> check out trp if, if for any for nothing else check check out that episode now yeah. let's get into really quickly what are we watching okay <laughs> Now, I watched about a million things this week because I've been so fucking sick on my o Ozempic. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, and what do, you, what do you got? Did you watch anything? I got caught up on The Golden Bachelor, and it is very oh, shit, I haven't watched it. Oh, they get in a so fight, right? I saw the, the two women get in a fight. The one that we knew was going to be a bitch. Okay, so the one that resembles Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one. she gets in a fight with the one who I was going to say the one who has had some work done, but like all of them right. <laughs> dealer's choice on that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, they get in a, Oh wait, Teresa. I want to say her name is Teresa. Something like that. Um, so she gets upset because she thinks the pulled face one 
is bragging too much about her connection with Gary. I'm pretty sure his name is Gary. His name is Gary for sure. Oh God. So she just, she's like, Oh no, I, I just, I, I can't. And she's just, she's very like frail. The one and she's just in her face. I think she's taking it a little bit too personally. Um, but just to see these, uh, established women, I'm not going to say older women, established women get upset with each other over Gary is really uncomfortable. And um, just Gary is, he's too earnest. He's just too innocent he is. to be on the yeah. show. It makes it so uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, and he he's like the type of guy that every woman should want to date, but we don't because we rather have like a bad guy. <laughs> he should be a grandpa and only a grandpa. Yeah, he should like not David be Hooley. Um, yeah, there's no, um, like, bonability. Like, there's just like, ugh, you know, like he seems like the kind of guy who would say like, "Oh, he gads." Or like, I feel oh, like by golly. sex would be like Ooh. silent with him and a little bit too like loving where it's like, can you like pound it out a little bit, please? Or you'd be you like, too tender. I know this is going to sound funny, but would you just mind cuddling me tonight? Like it would just be like, he's Cole. Cole oh. DeMore. Actually, I think Hold Cole me. is, I need Cole's a raging man compared to him. I think. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Someone out up here in the comments asked forensics what? What? It's called extreme forensics. Extreme forensics. And, and oh, and the episode is called Backfired. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you watch the episode where they go to that diner and they have the, fl the flash, <laughs> the flash mob of the journey song? <laughs> That's was the it chick not exactly the fight with the Caitlyn Jenner one? Uh... Um, oh, it was. I mean. He was, he came in cap in hand with the, I mean, you never stop, right? Don't like you stop go on a believing. journey where you, yeah. and they're, oh. they're like doing like a conga line at some point to don't and stop then, believing. And then, and then they're just like doing this thing, like the old oh. people dance where you just, and, and then they, then they clasp hands and that's how they dance together like this. So hot. <laughs> I hate it. So sexy. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll I'll catch up on that. I forgot I forgot about that show. Honestly, it's um, it's a little uncomfortable to watch because the the thing that makes it uncomfortable, at least for me, is that knowing these women are going to sincerely fall in love with him, and they're going to be devastated and go back home and be like, I will never find someone else. I only have. As Kara Radswell, Carol Radswell said, like, you know, six good summers left. And they're gonna be destroyed. It's basically where I'm at right now, where I'm like, yeah, it's not worth it. Um, I uh, oh, did you watch SNL last night, by the way? No, I didn't know there was a new one, but Emma, this is hilarious. You guys sound like you have some man drama. Hashtag he's too loving. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> We have both witnessed oh. each other in the like the ten years we've known each other or eight years, whatever. Go through yep. some shit. Like, yeah, lots of yep. crying right before pressing record, and then we're just like, okay, hello, and welcome go, to the show. yeah, and, and go. Same. right? Tears are gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is what I've blasted through uh, this week. Um, oh, sorry, did you watch SNL? Oh no, I didn't. Pete Davidson hosted Jody. I don't like it. It was not good. I'm like the, for your first show, you had all summer plus the writer's strike to come up with material here for a former cast member. It was bad. Even I, even his monologue was bad. He was wearing a jacket, like a puffy jacket. I'm like, you're fine. What are you? Oh, cold? you and I. I mean. <laughs> Like we'd be short sleeves, and that would be really like. Ugh, oh, God. I mean, we're gonna I'd have to turn that AC out. all the way down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I mean, you're gonna have to throw out that t-shirt because it's not wearable anymore, even after a wash. Uh, I could see him being going into it too confident, just being like, "Oh, well, like obviously I'm gonna be funny." No, he just seems stone, kind of. I don't. I never thought he was that funny. I always I thought he, he was got. Funny. A, uh, I, I don't know. 
he just always seemed like, oh, I'm breaking character because I'm Pete Davidson and I'm funny. But I didn't. Okay, well, Jimmy Fallon didn't do that though. Mm, Towards the end, for sure. Yeah. I watched it I, uh, on TikTok, I think. Um, I watched the Debbie Downer episode again at Disneyland. Oh. And there was like this comment that was like, this would be so much more funny if they weren't laughing. It's like, no, it wouldn't. That's what makes this funny. Okay. Well, she goes, she goes, by the way, <laughs> it's official. <laughs> I can't have children. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon's just losing his mind. Uh-huh hilarious it's not funny yeah. if they're not laughing uh okay well anyway watch SNL. i also Give think your opinion i also think Pete <laughs> davidson got a lot of love because his dad died in 9 11 which is horrible but like oh you mm. have that little like you know right um i was over the staten island okay the king of staten island the movie is very oh, yeah, good perfect. and his show on i think it's on hbo bub kiss is also very good I, for some reason, can't get into it, but I know Justine loves it. Uh, okay. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, oh, and next week is the host is some singer, I think, that I don't oh, care great. about. I'm not going to know who they are. Right. I never do. Uh, here's what I uh, watched uh, this week. The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. Uh, You've never seen that before? I've seen it like three times. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Uh I watched a whole bunch of Always Sunny. I watched Fried Green Ugh. Tomatoes. That's what I watched the night of my first was a big shot. Ugh. I bought it for five bucks, and I'm like, I'm f- I'm filling some Fried Green Tomatoes. Okay, like not to eat, but to watch. Watch sure. that. Uh, <laughs> this is what I watched last night uh, before Sister Wives. Girl interrupted. No Jesus. idea. Why. What are you doing to yourself? Oh I'm going God. emo. Last night, uh, also the help. What? Okay, I've never seen that. Okay. Uh, also, The Green Mile, which I've seen several times. Won't watch that be, until you Why? get to that one scene. Oh, that one scene is rough. I, 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 I'm halfway ending. through the movie. Uh, you know what my problem with The Green Mile is? I've, I'm sure I've said this before. Is that Tom Hanks's character has a UTI during the whole movie. Yeah. And it's not depicted properly, I don't think. Because he'd be in pain Ooh, all the time. He, controversial he's not act- take. <laughs> Tom Hanks needs to learn how to act better. Uh, he's he's mm. not... For any of us girls who've had a UTI, that's your whole life. That's your whole day. You're in pain. You're keeling over. And he's just kind of he, going And there's no day. over-the-counter, right? It's not like the whole thing. Like, you have to get a prescription. Probably not back when the Green Mile was happening. Oh, right. So it's men be, get him too? Yeah, and I feel like it's got to be worse for men, right? I don't know. Well, I've Amanda got a lot of time on her hands. He, he, well, yeah, I, I give um, me a break here. I work on uh, <laughs> So I watched, have you ever um, seen the show Down With Love? Oh, it has like that big monologue at the end, right? I don't know. No, it's, it's. With Renee Zellweger? Zellweger? Mm, maybe, but this is a TV show. Oh. Then with no. young adults who have Down syndrome and they're going on <laughs> dates. And oh like, God, and it's called Down with Love. Yeah. And there's a bunch really of times like that. you can tell that they're like feeding them to say that line. But I'll tell you, I mean, like, they just like decide they're into someone on that date and like, boom, they're in love. They're together forever. They like, just make if up it their was mind. Only that like, easy. They accept each other as is. And it's kind of beautiful. Although there is one girl. Oh, this is why I brought this up. So, you know what I brought you, or when I brought you, when I texted you, what's the name of the girl that was <gasps> Careful! on Careful! She's, yeah, okay, got it, yeah. No, there is a girl on Down With Love that looks like a mix between her and, um, oh, who's the agent on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel? Um, uh, from Family Guy. Someone say it in, in the chat. Um, well, anyway, she reminds me of both of them because she always wears a smart blazer. She always wears like a navy blazer and she'll be like, hey, I'm here. And she's like two barrettes. And she got down on one knee Aww, and asked, cute. would you like to be my boyfriend on their first date? And it was like the sweetest, most heartwarming thing ever. The and woman we're talking about on Doughboys is named Betsy Sodaro. You've seen her. Okay. I'm sure you've all seen her in stuff. She's in tons of movies. Yes. Alex Bors- Borstein. Alex Borstein. Um, 
she just reminds me of her and she's spunky and she's like trying to set up her younger brother on a date. It is like the cutest show ever. It's so good. One of my and favorite they know episodes. How to treat a lady. I mean, these guys like actually Cause one they're of nice. them. Because they're not yeah, one of they're... them. I think Brayden. Brayden. Um, he does like some multi-level marketing, uh, dermatology thing, whatever. But uh, he gives out tips. He's like, you can ask me and Liesel if if you fellas like need any advice on like your sex life or dating. So um, yeah. Hey, I mean, Only we're five episodes so far, but I'm in. We're both following all the Abby, way down with Abby from uh, Love on the Spectrum and her boyfriend David. They go to water parks all the time. Water park. They also love disgusting. Disney Circle of Life. When um, they love to go to the zoo and look at the lions. Now you're really like you're towing the line here because if you look at Abby's, whenever her mom or her come up on TikTok, and you click on the comments, you know there's that little bar at the top that'll say. Like whatever it is, you can click on it and kind of like trace back what the people are talking about. And it says yeah. Abby's mom fake autism. So there's like this whole conspiracy theory that she's faking it. Okay, I, I don't think, think that's fake. I think Isaac's fake. <laughs> no, Isaac's not fake. Uh, maybe he did, he's not. <laughs> he did a cameo for you. That's right. And he goes, hi, Amanda. It was, it was very cute. That was it cute. was. Should, should, but you know who I think is faking it? And don't mess this up for the group. As I've said before, Wendy, Simple Treasures for Sale. John, what a.k.a. The, the Blind Guy. There. I don't think he's blind. Definitely he was blind. talking about how they went to his favorite Mexican restaurant, which is called like Taco Land or something. Um, and he said something about how two people they walked out and they were smoking a cigarette outside and then they came back in and that means your meal is done. You shouldn't get to continue eating the all you can eat buffet. If you leave for a cigarette, like your meal should be done. Now forget that meal is done or not. How do you know if they walked outside for a cigarette, if you can't see, because he specifically said they were sitting in a booth and they got up and, and left. No, no, Something's hanky there. Future Imperfect says, I don't think Gwen is autistic. Okay, Gwen is neurodivergent. In my opinion, everyone is neurodivergent. Yeah, to a certain I'm sure that I degree. am. Yeah. Um, the simple, okay, if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about with Wendy and the blind guy, this is something we've been following for a couple of years. Here, Again, but it's a TikTok. It. Don't go tagging yeah, anyone. Don't tag us. Don't ruin it. Yeah, they don't make this go live thing. once a night, okay? But it's this woman with, um, she whisper, she's, got, whisper. she's got a set of teeth on her. Yeah. Um, she has like but, two rows. It's like a thing. It's okay. She, she's aware of it. Mm. Uh, she's got this boyfriend, the blind guy and they go live and he is such a huge fucking asshole. And the energy no, of their videos is problematic. Yeah. And like, sometimes it'll just be a, a shot of like, their kitchen and like the garbage can is the only thing yep. you're looking at and they're off screen talking. But yep. her energy with the blind guy is just constantly like, what? Yep. Yeah. And well, sometimes, sometimes they've had some cocktails. Sometimes they've been drinking, smoking pot. And he just talks not, like it is one stream of talking never yeah. stops. Go check it out. I guarantee they're going to go live tonight. Um, simple treasures for sale yeah it's not TikTok. wendy williams grace taylor it's no. just her name is wendy but it's simple treasures for sale jody sends me their live every single night yep and yep. you can only really get through like do you watch a lot of it i watch a minute and then i want to die well he has his alexa he puts a timer on it so he, she's only on live for a certain amount of time like 20 minutes and then near the end he's like i'm gonna set everyone's thing off but he's like hey device hey, yeah um how many more minutes on the timer and then it'll tell him then he's like oh and poor wendy's here just trying to shill her bath and body work but she and seems over what it what is going on with this too how is she able to sell these goods at such a deep discount because she says she goes to the store she goes to victoria's secret she goes to bath and body works she restocks now i get that you can like build up coupons and stuff but how is this all possible with free shipping? Like, does someone have some like little tricky hands in the store? If you know what I mean? I don't know. 
Um, okay, uh, you guys, if there's ads going again, we, don't, we thoroughly again, we looked have, into this and it's something YouTube is doing. It. Yeah. Yeah. We I looked it up. Off. It's, it actually is good for us because it means that we're like, we have a good enough number. That right. But still it's YouTube's algorithm. There. They put it in there. Like we can't turn them on, turn them off. There's no doing no. that. So I'm sorry. They'll but we looked into it. it. Um, anyhow, what else? Anything That's else? it. I mean, I'll okay. probably, I'll, I need to finish the help in the green mile tonight. Um, and, but, oh, and then last night, oh, at, as I was sleeping, while you were sleeping. That's a reference from the Netflix show Love that maybe only me and Justine has ever watched. But um, okay. while I was sleeping, I listened to the audiobook of The Help. See, what this is why I think I'm neurodivergent. Like, I, I, I get obsessed with something, and then that's all I can think of. Or you're a, the help head. Jeez. I am the help head. Wow. I almost stole that book from an airport, and thank God I didn't, because I'm sure there's cameras everywhere, and I would have been, like, fucking, like, arrested and deported. <laughs> but, like, I had this weird layover where my flight was canceled, and I was going to be, like, stuck in, like, I don't know, Boston or something for eight hours. And I'm like, I guess I'll go buy a book. And then I went in and for like 15 minutes, the store clerk never came out. And I like really did have the thought like, can I just walk out with this right now? Probably could. But then I didn't. Don't you dare. There was one time I did not. <laughs> I was going to say, let's it. not talk about Target. At least they let you back in. Oh, careful. My mom watches this yeah. sometimes. This will be the one five minutes that of the stream that my mom watched. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, I might tune in. What time is it again? I'm like, 3.30. Like, I've, like the past 25 weeks. Just uh, Ixnay on the Orist Fump Ump Gay. The Orist Fay. Oh, um, careful gay. about that. Any of our long-term listeners know what we're talking about. Now, listen. Uh, are we ready to just blast? Yes, I'm dying. I'm edging here. Let's get into it. Now, have you heard anything about this at all? Other than me, like, screaming at you over text last night, like, this is the best episode ever! No. No. Okay. Uh, a lot in the, cha uh, the chat, as we first started, everyone's like, oh my god, Brianna, Brianna. We got some Brianna footage here. And it's I uh, never liked her. Disturbing. You liked her. You liked her. Let's just remember that. I still do like her. I feel bad for okay. her. This is so oh. upsetting. But just brace yourself. We're okay. going to have a whole bunch of shit. Oh, and also, Michael. Michael. What? Michael. What? One whisper. Um, we got a really cool scene with Mary and what? just Jen. And they're laughing it up. What? They're so funny. Like, I couldn't funnier, even like keep it. Funnier oh. than the caramels. <laughs> oh, it's way funnier. They're moving. Oh, she's helping her move, and that the, they are these cracking two cut up. ups. These two, we're never gonna get make it out of town. The two of us, you can't put the two of us together. Now, everyone in the mm. chat, let us know really quickly while we get this all set up. Uh, yep. let Jody know what you know how good this is. Oh, Instagram pictures. Shit. Sorry. Thank you, Resting Baker oh. Face. We well, do no, need to go. Good. We're getting into the Brown family. This oh, br br Brown family, family values. Here we go. Uh, yes. you, you want the fart noise, right? Yes. <laughs> Obviously. Here we go. Fart. Fuck yeah. Um, it gets me every time. It's so. I oh, timed up the music, so or I timed up the fart to like one of the blasts. So when the fart noise happens, a blast of pee <laughs> happens, or water, or water it shit. Fart. If you are just listening to this, you are missing out on on the artistry. Yeah, that check happens it out. over here. Shit, I I meant to write down timestamps for all of these segments, but I didn't. But I'll figure it out later. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Um. Okay, so Gwen did a AMA. I don't know if I don't know what account our PayPal is coming out of now on our regular Patreon, maybe yours, but I yeah. had to upgrade five dollars last night. Oh, and yeah, I'm like, I saw well. Okay. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry about that. Um, oh. I had to upgrade it to read this AMA. It was such bullshit. I think I'm I think I'm gonna get us out of just her Patreon <gasps> altogether. Really? She's like yes! down. Uh, One person oh. asked, um, you know, we have to ask, why were you not at your mom's, or at the wedding? And Gwen's answer sure. was, 
oh, my mom's wedding? Like, yes, obviously your mom's wedding, idiot. Yeah. And she goes, I was just busy. Calm down. And then that's it. And then every other question that she answered, because it was her birthday yesterday, so she did a birthday AMA. All the other questions were like, what are you planning on doing for your birthday? What's it? Are you and your wife going out? And, and that's what that, those are the answers. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about any of this. Um, I did screenshot a couple of these answers um, that I will read. Okay. Oh, Mary Jane just texted me. You should do the shot of Ozempic in your stomach. I don't want to do that. It sounds terrible. Um, okay, here. No, that's like a good place for it. I don't know about that, babe. Um, yeah. So just. Um, it's all just it's all just comments about happy birthday, happy birthday. And then somebody oh, <laughs> this is my favorite thing ever. So somebody wrote like, oh, are you and B doing anything special for your day? And then people are like, yay, happy birthday. 22 is a great age. And then it, Kath, this woman named Catherine Green writes, 22 is exciting as you made it. My son died at college at 21. <laughs> that was the comment that she wrote. I was like, sorry. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, Angela Thanks Schmolka asked her, are you doing okay? And Gwen says, slaying, Angela. Slaying. Glad I paid five bucks to hear that. Oh, if you watch any of her videos, that's all she, slay, 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 slay. Valid, 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 valid. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, she said that, uh, uh, somebody said, happy birthday, you wonderful human. Will you celebrate with any of your siblings? And Gwen says, might celebrate with Logan since I'll be going to Vegas. Also, my sister-in-law. We're visiting B's family this weekend, too. And then that girl writes back, sounds awesome. Have a fun and safe weekend and a great birthday. Like, why, why did I pay for this? Yeah. Yeah, no one okay. wants to know what you're doing for your birthday. We know why you're here and you know why you're okay. here. Come on. Well... Buckle up for this one, because this is a hot topic right now. Okay. It's a hot okay. take. Nadja asks, what are your thoughts on pineapple pizza? And Gwen says, it's too sweet. That... <laughs> Listen, bitch, we, we came here to talk about why you weren't at Christine's wedding. And you're talking about pineapple pizza right now? Jesus yeah, I don't like Christ. this. I don't like, I don't this. like this either. Um, oh, here's another one. It's, oh, same woman, actually. Nadja. Oh. If you could be any kind of pasta noodle, what would it be and why? Okay, hold on. I think she's going to say... Is she going to say she's an spaghetti because she's, like, long and lean? No, or is she going to go with, like, a fusilli? No, rigatoni. I don't know. I like its vibes, Gwen says. Okay, like, I just want to... That that is possibly the most this millennial is thing. This like, is bullshit. I like its vibes. Ugh. I'm feeling rigat. Also, rigatoni sucks. Well, no, I think a rigatoni. If you're doing like with sausage, like some sausage slices, because you can get uh. a rig and you get a sausage on one fork full. Uh, All right, know. I'm gonna puke. We keep talking about uh, food right now. <laughs> um, she, she, and she goes. Uh, someone else write, uh, writes. Do you see yourself being a very young mom like McKelty and Maddie? Or holding off until you've had some years to establish a career. Any thoughts on being a stay-at-home mom or a fuller part-time working mom? Do you care about Who's this asking either? this? I don't know. I, I cut that person's name off for some reason. But she said she's going to wait until she graduates to start having kids. Well, yeah. That's what Madison said, too. Before she met sure. old man Caleb. Caleb Brush. Caleb Brush. Who's fully bald, by the way. We'll see pictures of the wedding in a second. Um, Great. Fetus, uh, the more I've learned about fetuses developing in the womb, the more I'm concerned about making sure I won't be pregnant during a stressful time. Uh, might take a year off just to be preggy. I like the idea of being a working mother, so I'll have kids before I get very into my career. I would love to be a stay-at-home mom. That's always the goal. But I also want to help people, so I'll probably do part-time. That was a rambling where I, I had no idea. What was the answer there? Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is... That's just someone who needs a friend. Like, I mean. She's just talking. You know. um, yeah. Somebody Everyone asked, which care. sibling do you most resemble physically? Which sibling are you most aligned? Do character? you not have eyes? Yeah, exactly. The blind guy. My God. 
Jesus. Gwen says, I think I most resemble Leon, but my my friends think I'm similar to Ashton she and does Isabel. Not. She looks nothing like Leon. Gwen doesn't look like anyone else in her family. She looks more like Peyton, I guess. Yeah, I think Peyton and I mean she's definitely like one of Christine's kids. Uh, and then last one, last one I chose to uh, screenshot was happy birthday. Do you talk to any of your siblings every day? Which one of your siblings is B closest to? What's your favorite thing about B's family? And Gwen says, Ew. I talked to Isabel. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I talk to Isabel at least three times a week and I text the Flagstaff family most often. B's favorite is probably McKelty because McKelty is so honest. Okay. Like don't like McKelty. I mean, sure. You're checking off too many negative things here right now. I don't like this. Um, uh, and her favorite thing about Bee's family is how chill they are. My family is stuck up comparatively. I love my crazies, though. Stuck up? That's really just jaded if you Rich. feel like they come up. Uh, yeah, but I don't think they come across as stuck up. I just think they come across as, like, stupid. <laughs> Well, yeah, like they're, they're ignorant. Uh, okay, let's move on to some Instagram pictures. I have one no. really quick uh, picture of something recently that Gary okay. has made uh, on Gary's gram. And no, there's no Howie. Gary from Howie. Team Mom. No Howie this week. Okay. Um, okay. Gary, uh, me and Justine have agreed. Him and Christine are definitely on Ozempic, as I would assume are McKelty and Tony. I don't. I don't. I don't like this, and I, I don't want to picture Gary Shirley anything other than <gasps> I just I watched the teen him. mom reunion and he looks like a fucking bobblehead. Ew, I don't like it. Cuz his head and neck stay the same. Anyway, this is what he made this week because um it's pumpkin season. No, just a little punky. He's going to say punky pie or something gross like that. Okay. What does that say? Okay, tis the season. Fresh pumpkin puree. What can I make with it at Christina Shirley? I don't know. Do you Gary. have to involve me in all of your fucking food? Why puree it if you don't know what you're going to make ahead of time? Yeah, what are you going to do with that? You can give it to your dogs, I guess. It's good for the stomach. Um, Ew. All right, let's go through the make some um, like pumpkin pancakes or something. Okay. Christina uh, gobbled up a, a triple stack this morning. I barely even got a spoonful of that. Let's go through these Instagram pictures. I don't have them labeled, so we're just going with whatever I'm clicking on here. Uh, what's this? Oh, wait, this is Jan oh, this is just Janelle Evans. I don't care about that. Um, oh, sorry, Sneeze. Yeah, bless you. Janelle took yeah. this insane picture. Um, okay, so here's the news of the week. Janelle went to Hawaii. <laughs> I can't even do that with my neck. What is she doing? That was painful. Janelle. I don't know, but she... Janelle went to Hawaii on a whim this week. It was the most exciting. Who was able to go to Hawaii on a whim? Maybe they are when you li up. when you live in that apartment. Um, yeah. She says we've been enjoying we've been enjoying hanging out at this house on the beach. Dinner last night. Good food company and the sound of the ocean in the background. And it's just a picture of her way too close up, and then you can't even see the people. Her behind neck her. is like Halloween horror. What? It's just she like... might be on Ozempic. She's losing weight like too too fast. I think. Oh, good for um, her. But then somebody wrote back to her, you look fantastic. What's on the menu? And Janelle wrote, tacos. Happy face. Yes, I know it's Hawaii, but you can't just, but you can't, you just can't go wrong with tacos. Happy face again. <laughs> tacos in Hawaii. Who knew? Who knew? Here's another one. Oh. Um, Janelle is still in Hawaii. View from my room's walkout patio. This is so fun. Also, Patty, oh I always love to wrote, this is so fun. This is so fun. Oh. I love to look at the grammar because she never proofreads her shit. So it says patio space space exclamation point. <laughs> she gets too excited when she's writing these. And also this view is like not great. It's like a terrible picture yeah, of this view. I don't. And is that a patio or is that a deck, Janelle? I, I mean, now I, I know we're getting a little you know, tit for tat, but. Tit for oh. tit. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> You guys, if anyone is just listening, you need to rental. you need to come to the YouTube channel just to look at these Instagram pictures. At least you're you're doing yourself a disservice. Not and it's watching. the least effort font 
that gets, just gets thrown over the photo. She's not looking for the right yeah. kind of font or background. Also, this how is this an upgrade? This is like a Cooper, isn't it? I don't know what that is, babe. But snazzy upgraded snazzy. car rental. Snazzy upgraded car rental space space exclamation point. You know what would help us determine if that is snazzy or not, Janelle? Like maybe the make and model of the car. Like shoot it from behind so we could be like, oh, that's a or get the full Land car Rover in the picture like, instead of like a zoomed in picture of it. Yeah, we got the back door. Yeah, it could be a minivan for all we know. Yeah, I know. This is this an SUV? Yeah. Is this? I don't know what this is. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save this one for for last. Uh, what's this? Here's just some pictures of the wedding. Here's McKelty. And Cherney with their three babies under three. Fine. I don't like her shoes, babe. It looks like she's wearing T strap character shoes. Yeah, I was going like to say, it looks theater. like. Yeah, she's ready. Maybe they're cuter in person. That's a possibility. Okay, here's another Janelle one. Um, it's kind of a pic. It's, she's at the bottom of a hill and she's taking a picture of, I guess they're in Hawaii. And she goes, Oh, okay, this is the first one, I guess. I'm going to be joining my friends here this weekend. It's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I didn't want to miss it. Alice, who the fuck is Alice? No explanation on who Alice is, but Alice asked me 2.5 weeks ago, and I impulsively bought an airplane ticket. First time I've done, uh, first time in a very, very long time I've done something like that, period. Alice? That couldn't be Alice. handsome Alice. It's right? definitely not a handsome Alice. Here's another one. That would be great, though. Oh, here's an up close picture of Janelle, like bouffant of hair. Um, on my way to Hawaii to join my friends for a long weekend. Most impulsive trip I think I've ever made. No punctuation at the end of that sentence, though. Is that a sweaty upper lip or like what? There's a sheen. She, she, she looks gorgeous, but like that. Hair, maybe she just put is, on some chapstick. The hair that's fresh out of a, a giant Velcro roller. Yeah. Oh, like, totally. Whoa. Totally. She's not combing it through. It's gonna fall later. Whatever. Uh, here's just a picture of um, the family at the wedding. Who cares about that? Here's um, Maddie with uh, old, old man Caleb man Brecht. River. <laughs> uh, here we got, I guess, uh, Christine must have sent out something saying, like, everyone make sure you wear, like, rusty Rust. color. Yeah. Yeah, like sunset tones. Yeah, sure. Leon looks good, I think, actually. Leon always smiles like that, with their eyes closed, squinting at the sun sort of look. Yeah. And I, I don't enjoy a bolo tie, so I, I, they're not going to get my vote on this one. This picture kind of sucks, but you can find it on any of the people's I mean. um, things. Um, just th This picture is really to just look at Truly, who looks like she's one of the blind stepsisters from Into the Woods at the end of Act 1. Um, is that a she, pant suit? Is that a pant? Yeah, it's a pant suit. Okay. I mean, God love her. She's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. Here's Christine. I think it upstages Christine a little bit. I'm just going to say. <laughs> Hi, Latrice. Uh, okay, she looks pretty there. Again, I just wish the dress were fitted better. Okay, I have two more Janelles, and then we'll get into... Okay. She got this one. Janelle. It's a picture of uh, foam in a cup. For those of you who saw my post yesterday, I found some good quality maple syrup in my pantry, and I'm not having a real maple I'm latte. I'm now having. Oh, I'm now having. A real a maple real latte. A real maple latte. And then, of course, the biggest news of the week. Only in Hawaii? Spam-flavored macadamia nuts. Can you believe it? Who knew? Who knew? Four and a half ounces, 10.95, unsalted. Who knew? We got a good laugh about this one. These are the oh, oh she she chuckled in that store. Oh, oh. I need everyone to know about this. That's crazy. Oh. Oh. All right. That does sound disgusting, by the way. No, it sounds fucking awful. Oh. Uh, me and Julie were talking about spam this morning. I think she's like, I don't think I've ever had it. I'm like, yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good like once a year. Yeah, I've only had it once. It's, it's in it's South Africa, like Amanda. Oh, of course. Okay, uh, let's let's get into this episode. Okay, yeah, we, let's Latrice do this. is hunkering down. Do, do we have another brown family? Sure, oh, Reese. Yeah, she's settling down. She's like, she knew. She knew what time it was. All 
Now, I don't oh, God, I love it. I don't know how engaged we can be in the comments, guys. I will obviously rewatch this later. You're all hilarious, much more funny than we are, but yes. Jody needs to concentrate on this. So what we're going to okay, do our this best is a to... concentrator one. Okay. There, there's lots of kids in this episode and the kids are bringing the tea. They're bringing the brown the noise. tea. Bring in yeah. the brown funk. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and okay. read the scripts. Season 18, episode 9, battle, draw, battle lines are drawn. <laughs> Janelle, Christine, and their older kids gather for dinner, and things get intense as they express their frustrations about Cody and Robin. Then Christine celebrates her ex anniversary with friends. Oh, who knew? Yeah, it's, <sighs> it's kind of an obnoxious scene, but Janelle's there, and Janelle's like, oh, what a fun time. Love these Ooh, girls. Friends. Some really nice women. All right. Um, I am at, hang on, just let me get to, okay. I'm at one minute and six seconds. Are you guys ready? Is everyone ready for Y'all this? Y'all ready for this? Don't know. Take a hit. Take a shot. Do whatever you need to do. Okay. Let's go. Flagstaff train station. Yeah, they're really making it sound like they live in this like crazy town. Like here we go. Yeah, very like urban or something. Yeah, it's Flagstaff. <laughs> Red Gary's house. I'm in um, Flagstaff this week. I'm cooking a meal for Garrison and Gabe and Janelle and Savannah and Gwendolyn. I get a cook in Garrison's kitchen. Garrison bought a new house. I'm taking over the kitchen. Oh, I'm so excited to cook for them again. Yeah, I don't have anything in this house, so. Nice. I have the house, but nothing else. So. Well, I have some shopping for you. Oh. Food, salad bar. Cool. And then Gwendolyn and Gabe are coming over later, but Truly's not coming over. I wanted to create a space for them to just talk, allow them space to talk about their frustrations. Okay. And also Truly's really weird and she'll kind of ruin the vibe. <laughs> I feel like that's, what she, that's why. I think she, yeah, she requires a lot of attention. Yeah, and now right. this scene we're about to see, it's with the kids, and C Christine is wearing her producer hat during this. Like, she oh. should have got producer credit for this, because okay. she is guiding this conversation, okay. but they're She's giving the it. Movie. They're giving us what we want. I'm at two minutes and nine seconds. It's going to make it hungry. Oh. Hey. Hi. Where you are? How's it going? Where, where are you? Did you guys do bring key lime pie? I have to go get it. This is okay. my nutrition plan friendly key oh, lime okay. pie. Okay, well then what the fuck, Janelle? He yeah. goes, did you bring the key lime pie? Oh no, I have to still go get it. Well, why didn't, go get it this, before you this arrive This is classic here. Janelle. Like <laughs> she's that person where you assign her to make something and she brings the ingredients and like mixes it up Some, there when she Or she gets watches there. someone else mix it up. Like when she watched Christine put her Christmas tree together. Right. And her, like, Janelle, and her drawers. Yeah, Janelle, you're responsible for the salad. And she shows up with like the bag of lettuce, yeah. the tomatoes, the whatever. And no, then, like, so no dressing. Like, oh, get in there and wash. I assume, and I assume you have no. dressing in your fridge already, right? Yeah. <laughs> but she's brought her own uh, health conscious key lime pie for herself. So next she's going to go. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah um, Don H says chopping veggies isn't cooking. Yes, we're going to find out that the meal is a yeah. salad bar. I mean, you would love this. You'd be oh, horny God. for this. I, well, I'm, I'm just I'm super excited. I love God. a salad bar. I miss the like, Wendy's so salad is, bar back in the day. Is it? I love a Wendy's salad bar. Oh, God. That's right. the, uh, honestly, that's like what I miss most pre-9-11 is the Wendy's salad bar. And, the, and, and they had a potato, baked potato bar also. They had chili that was just in a big crock. And they had the bread the buns they made into like a garlic bread oh and that shit was loose. like do you oh. think the chili is just the day old um hamburgers cut up i think i told you that no i knew that oh okay because i had a friend who worked at chili guess where um, i guess where i heard that oh, doughboys here we go. doughboys um okay i'm at two minutes i also seconds. miss um it was soup plantation or uh, sweet tomatoes. Sweet tomatoes. I love sweet tomatoes. Nope. 
No more sweet tomatoes. As my, my mom would call it, sweet tomatoes. No more yeah, sweet tomatoes. Yeah, soup plantation isn't it. the best name for that. They no, changed. Sweet tomatoes was I learned this on Doughboys mm-hmm. as well. They changed all the names back to sweet tomatoes, except a co- like I think California kept it soup plant or Arizona kept it soup plantation or something. Mm, okay. <laughs> They digged in their heels about that. I um, love the two, grocery store salad bar. I'm going to get really hungry. Okay, let's do this. Two, two minutes, 21 seconds. So this is all salad bar. So the vision is this is the tablecloth. It's just all salad bar stuff. And then I got a bunch of cute little white bowls. We're just going to, it's going to be the easiest thing ever. That's a small bowl for a salad bar, babe. Get out of No, here. that's for the coutrements. The coutrements. Like, no, you, like if I'm put, doing a salad, I want a bowl, like a mixing no, bowl is how I do it. Each that. bowl is going to have like olives and then this bowl has tomatoes. So well, like that's, dress- not, that's not a big enough bowl to be serving the brown family in a buffet. <laughs> wow. Wow, Christine. Wow. She's really phoning it in here. A lot that's happened in those six months with Cody and Robin and the kids. When I saw Janelle's boys at Christmas in Savannah too, um, they were just really, really sad. I've been out of it, you know, out of their life since I moved. You know, Christmas was really difficult, so I just hope something's changed. You doing all right with school? Yeah. Yeah. She cutting Did right we have on the counter. The yeah. today? Huh? Was she cutting right on the counter? Yeah, I think so. I also, is that a zucchini and then or moving is that a cucumber? It to the, yeah. the cutting board. Yeah. Christine, I feel okay. So she's here to get some info from these kids. So I think that's and she did this with Peyton on Thanksgiving, where it's like, come in the kitchen, we'll make something together, and we'll just casually talk about what a piece of shit Cody and Robin are. Oh, so that's okay. what she's doing here. And so, like, this is Savannah's episode to shine because she spills okay. it. She fucking spills it. Got a girl. Finally, she gets zero lines of dialogue for eighteen seasons, and now she's ready. Okay. Oh my gosh, Samantha was the cutest little preschooler, kindergarten. Oh my gosh, I used to take her to kindergarten every day and she let me do her hair. Mm. Very cool. Uh, go away, she's Aurora! So cute every single day. God, she's so cute. I like the idea. Now, do you see Brianna at school? Yeah. Okay, cool. I run into her every day after our study hall, though, because she has um, my teacher that I have for my third hour. Aurora and Brianna are Robin's girls. They've known Savannah, what they've all been siblings for 12 years. Then Savannah and Brianna are just really close in age, and they go to school together. Aurora's a little bit older. She's you know, closer to Gwendolyn and Gabe's age. Do you guys hang out together? So just no, each other? I don't talk to her. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, okay. It's solved. Uh, Queen underscore G says, Jody, I thought that too and had to rewind. I think it's a black cutting board. And I just looked and it is a black cutting board. We're sure. But it, are there also black countertops? It's all, it's a black cutting board. Okay, on thank God. Okay. Thank you. Thank I you, know. Queen G, for getting this. This is Garrison's new house. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Joe, okay. So everyone's saying, get ready, Jody. We're okay. getting. This is where we get some Brianna footage, and you're okay. gonna fucking lose your mind. I ignore each other. That's, that's crazy. Um, uh, me and Savannah, you know, were decent to each other. It wasn't like super great and close because during COVID, um, people had different opinions about the rules, so we just didn't know what to do each with each other. So we kind of kept our distance. I kind of just feel. Shocked away, and confused and like she doesn't care I don't what? know what the right word is it kind of just broke my heart a little god she because, her mannerisms you know, are so robbing I grew up with her just wait I grew up with all of them <laughs> so oh whoa just, Robin can we cut I don't want to cry can we cut <laughs> Okay, so we need to break that down. I got chills in my body right now. Strike that. Oh, like quiet on set. Can we cut? (laughs) We've done a lot of shows with Corky. We know all the lingo. Uh, We're not going to cut. And then Aurora's just sitting there like... Rubbing her back. Go away! Why are you here? Why are you in the shot? She's stupid. How much... How much was that Robin? 
a hundred like her mannerisms and just how and she the way talks she carries and... her jaw because she kind of talks like this that's oh, Robin. dude just because i'm up... sorry yeah, you know who <laughs> you know who they grew up with their dad that yeah. you stole yeah that's who they grew up with oh now um I know why the word gas. You have to cut them off. Sorry. Like, why, why does that mean that Brianna has to cut her off and ignore her? Oh, cause because guaranteed Cody and Robin were like, don't rules. talk to them. Don't talk. Janelle's kids, especially. They, they have, they and have I also think Brianna's a bitch. I, I also think she's like a stuck she, up and she's spoiled bitch. She's got to... that look about her. Sorry. And she's trying to blame Savannah of all of the so, kids to blame Savannah. about not caring. Savannah. Yeah, the no, sweetest. Sweet. Yeah, I I, I don't like her. I mean, listen, bitch, we saw you get on the RV and be like, "Ew, is that when the dogs are gonna sleep?" Mm. Brianna's yeah. got a little bitchy face on her. She just does. She just looks like Robin. It's so unfortunate, but you still have to have a slight bit of empathy for both of these girls. They didn't have a fucking chance in hell to turn out normal. How? They had, a, like, they had a little bit of a chance because they were around the brown kids. They had a they? chance. They took mommy's side because they knew they got spoiled more if they took mommy's side. And they're old enough now. Listen, we were all raised by our parents. We're all fucked up to a certain degree. But at a certain point, you make your own decisions and like you can have your own opinions. Yeah, I just I can't imagine blaming Savannah. Yeah, Mrs. McKinnis says, uh, McKins, uh, Savannah seems sweet. Yeah, Savannah's always been just the sweetest little cute, uh -huh. like like just like the definition of like a Gerber baby almost. She's just so cute, her freckles and. No, I think I, Brianna's a, like, I, I'm projecting here, but I could see her being like one of these bitchy girls that Paige tells me about at school. Because she hates her life. Like, she didn't used to be like that though, Jody. She used to I be disagree. like nice. No, no. Really? I think she was, she was a crybaby. She liked attention. She was always screaming. But okay, when when Mary says, "Hey, I'm going to divorce your dad so that your mom can marry him and then you can get adopted," Brianna's said in that scene, "Like, are you are you okay? Like, you're crying though. Like, she seemed very concerned." And then when uh, Leon made the comment about Mary's eyebrows, Brianna was like, "That's not a." nice thing to say that's not a good thing to say so she used to have some kind of humanity in her but i think it's been mm. sucked out of her at this point because later we're gonna see a birthday party for fucking avalon and brianna is like in the corner wrapped up in a blanket looking like she's going to like uh like do a school shooting in five minutes <laughs> she's just I, I i don't know well and even when they had to go say goodbye and they were all standing outside and aurora and brianna were just like well, that's because Robin had literally just told them, Christine fucking hates you. She told Yeah, but even if, even if my mom you. said something like that and I was out in the public, I wouldn't have that freaking scowl on my face. I don't think they can help it. They're Robin's kids. Beaker. I don't it's know. Beaker. All right. Uh, sorry. So that was a. I don't like That was him. fun. Oh uh, I'm at four minutes and 50 seconds, and Brianna's crying on the couch, and Aurora's like, they're there. Go away, Aurora. God, you're annoying. Uh, yes. Savannah and Brianna have no relationship. They they sort of say hi. No, no, they don't even do that. They, they ignore each other in the halls. No, I had no idea. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. I just don't know what to say. So that is heartbreaking. No, it's just been recent. The relationship between the sisters was weird, right? That's just recent. Or is that always? Have you always had a hard time? I've always had a hard time with my siblings. Okay. With right. my the siblings my age, at least. Do you find it gross that the salad bar has a cold shrimp shrimp ring involved in it? I love now, a shrimp ring. Like I'll eat I'm a whole glad thing you brought this up because I, I was eyeing it earlier. Um, <laughs> I think it was purchased frozen, and it's now it's like thawed. thawing to room temperature. So but we're still, getting that's it not... to the temp it needs to be at. Now, would I trust uh, a shrimp ring at Gary's house? Absolutely not. Teen mom Gary nor sister wives Gary's house. Um, yeah. Can I just go to, I am putting this on Brianna, not just because she's Robin's daughter. Savannah is 
is the one that did not get a phone call from your daddy that lives with you. Who mouth you kisses have, you every You're day. crying over here on the couch because of, for whatever reason. You should have your heart to be like, ouch, that might hurt uh, Savannah's feelings that dad didn't call her. I think this is on Brianna to reach out to Savannah because clearly they are the ones that are getting pushed away. Yeah. Uh, Layla here says, how did Savannah not follow COVID rules? She just got lumped into her dad's beef with her brothers and mom. How does that make her responsible for disobeying COVID rules? Cause we remember the scene from last season where Savannah's like, why don't like, this is ruining like Savannah was sticking up yeah. for Cody. And they yeah. were like, just just pretend like you're following the rules. And she's like, I can't do that. Um, well, okay. and also, if they were seeing each other at school during the COVID stuff, then how is Savannah like doing something wrong if she's at school and Brianna's at if school? They're you're both seeing at school. each other. Yeah. And also, Cody's like anti mask, except when he's not. And what when do you he wants wore two masks. To- Oh, what, what, what do you want Savannah to do about Gary and uh, and what's his face and Gabe? Gabe, you're like, hey, you should go tell your twenty some year old brothers that they should. Which she go did. Out Savannah, she did tell them that on camera. God, she's like, this is affecting all of us. I, I don't also, like this Brianna. is that's fucked um, up. I mean, I I have cousins that I see maybe once or every. Lose you somehow. What? Uh, I'm not on mute. Am I on mute? Oh boy. Oh boy. You might have to leave and then come yeah, back. Could, um, you know, maybe it's my headphones. Then leave oh, yeah. and come back. I I will go out and then come back in. I think that's what okay, you're cool. saying. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm saying. All right. Go. All right. Um, here's the last point. I have cousins that I only talk to like once every few years, but when we see each other, it's like always a hug. I love you. I can't imagine seeing a family member every day at school and just ignoring them. That's like, shit's broken. Okay. I'm at five minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. You can hear me. Great. Um, I'm five minutes and 20 seconds and I'm just going to play. Okay. Well, a lot of them, the relationship changed as I get older, but Robin's kids, it's always been, um, not as close as your kids, your kids were. So that's, that's, I didn't know that. Hello? Oh my God. My headphones are saying that they're working and now I can't hear you again. Then do something with your audio. Oh then. my gosh. Okay. I, I just tested them. I'll, I'll be back. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know what's All working. Right. You saw dad, but you spent some time with him? Drew? Yes, yes. How was that? Um, that was fun. Were you okay really? that Shirley was there yeah, too? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because he'd only seen yeah. her, he saw her over the holidays, but before that he hadn't spent time with her since we um, split. moved away. Yeah, split. Yeah. So it's split. Can I open it? Yeah, yeah, that's for whatever you want. Well, I'm sorry. I think everything's a little bit strange. Honestly, I feel like there's way too many um, side items on, like, there's too many too many things that are going in the salad. Now we're bringing out peas. Peas and shrimp. There's too many things going on here. Come on, let's calm down here. It doesn't bother me, um, cause he, it's been so long that he's been absent that I don't even notice. I don't even really realize that he's not um, around. around. Do you just realize how broken things are when you hear it from a kid? Okay, I'm gonna wait for Jody for this scene. Uh, we didn't. She didn't really miss anything with the Savannah thing. Just it's very sad, and I guess she saw her dad once in the past like six months. Um, I'm gonna wait for Jody until we get to um, until I show her this hilarious, this hilarious Mary and Jen scene. <laughs> My God, it's so funny. We're moving. It's funny. It's funny. Uh, let, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Too many sides. I know. Um, 
Jenna. We, uh, Jody's having some technical difficulties. She'll be right back. And now I'm turning like bright red because I'm like alone here. Uh, let's see. What else? What else you guys? Can we skip Mary and Jen? No, it's so funny, Jean. It's way too funny to skip. Um, and Mary's uh, dead tooth is also very much featured in this episode. Thank God. Here's Jody. I'm hot. Hello? You can't hear me? I just heard you. Jesus. Okay. We're going to, we're going to do something here. You can go on this adventure with me and everyone's going to laugh and it's okay. All right. Streaming oh yes. That all, this always works. This always oh, see, works. Now yes. I hear you. You can, but I'm going to go now. I could, just, but it's going yeah, in Go out. with the thing. Um, you know, that was our, has us listen to that jazzy tune where she sings so testing at stream yard. I can hear that. And then I come in here and I can't hear you. So I'm going to hook up my work right. headphones and you're going to love this. Okay. Everyone's going to just, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Aman Amanada Gaby says, go fund me for AirPods. So, uh, Jody has like a thousand AirPods though. She's bougie. Why does she leave? This is chaotic. All right. What else, guys? Oh, Jody just texted me. Be there in a minute. Okay. Salads. Um, <laughs> this happens pretty much every time we start to record. StreamYard does not like Jody. Her headphones go in and out. I think she just needs shittier headphones because I've been using these headphones that, like, the other... Like, it only has one ear pod, and it never has. I never have a problem. Amanda, are you losing weight in Ozempic? I've only been on it since Wednesday, but I have not eaten I'm anything back. really other than yogurt. Can you hear me? I'm going to fucking murder hear you. you. I'm going to fly to, the not me. to Wheaton. I'm telling you. <laughs> right. If anyone else uses StreamYard, I think it just doesn't like the little air beats thing. So this is happening. Okay. Yeah. You hear me use okay? shittier use shittier headphones, I think is the problem. Okay. Well, right. I'm the that Janelle. Was so intense. I'm the Janelle of recording. Okay. Who knew? You are the Janelle of Who recording. Knew? All right. It's All right, Jody, you missed great. nothing. Savannah was just talking about, you know, nothing. Okay. Um, but now I had to pause because you have to be here for the Mary and Jen scene. So okay, I am so at you are at yeah. Six minutes, 31 seconds. And get ready to laugh. Oh, my God. They're, okay. They're cutting it up. I mean, wow. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh -huh. Sorry, guys. All Me right. Too. Here we go. All right. Go. And we are getting the carriage house ready for a renovation. We've got to move everything out and into storage. It's moving day. <laughs> okay. But for That's not funny. It's moving day. <laughs> oh, I thought I missed something. I thought they were just going to say something no. else. No. No, you didn't. It. No, no, that's it. Just oh. Jen. Real. We're moving, you guys. This okay, not really. Not. We're, it's an in-town move. It was a <laughs> very cheap truck rental. <laughs> I decided that I am going to. Like, why are you laughing? Do you think they're just, like, nervous all the time? Um, nervous and they think that they're really truly funny maybe she really did find like her soulmate and Jen that they're both so simple and kind of and so funny and funny simple and funny right finally like simple fun on Fridays you know, <laughs> you know. poor Amanda has the vapors <laughs> oh sorry I'm, I'm sorry I don't know that why awful. that happens sometimes <laughs> I'm so sorry the only bad thing about it is, is that when you leave, my screen takes over and then it's just my enormous fat face. And then I'm like, try not look well, at it. So you're not don't leave anymore. You, but. Okay. All right. So these two, Lucy and Ethel over here. Okay. This is going to be great. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay. Uh, six minutes, 54 seconds. My clothing business up here. Since my mom passed away, it's Body. been a lot of travel back and forth. So I've decided to put them in the same location. <laughs> so I'm going to renovate the carriage house so I can have my clothing business out here. Oh. So far we have that much loaded. 
the house that I have in Flagstaff, when I rented it, it was for the intention of having it large enough to do family events and also to run my clothing so business out of. Since we really don't do family events at my house, I'm also going to just get a smaller home. Yeah, because you're not part of the family, Mary. Yeah. Uh, because they don't you're like you. You're not part of the family. You went here. You went over. You're not considered a mom. I mean, Mary yeah. wouldn't even fight Aurora over, though. That's the, that's the sad part. Yeah. Even Mary's like... The black stuff. So I'll still be staying there. <laughs> but I'll be here more of a concentrated amount of time instead of so much travel back and forth. <laughs> oh, do you wait? Just do you wait. Know how good of a moment this is going to be if you could actually, like, unscrew that from... Well, okay. Uh -huh. Jen is my best friend, Sean is her husband she and i basically rope him into doing lots of projects for us let's go and hide his undies his undies are showing <laughs> <Mary. laughs> i see i mean these two should go on the road together with a some I kind of comedy those. routine ew if I was in I mean, this room with them, I'd be like, I, I you both need to stop. I think also, this husband is like, I hope oh, this whole I hope this storage piece falls on me right now. And I just Or falls on Jen. He, 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 I think he want he's like he's endorsing them falling in love with each other so that he can like oh, easily get the God. fuck out of there. Yeah, go away, Jen. I think it's a great idea you and Mary live together. Yeah. Um his he undies like, are showing. It's the top of his boxers. It wasn't even like undies. a butt crack. There's not even a butt crack joke that could be made. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Yeah, it's not like hanging it's off like, of him. It's barely Yeah, yeah seen. fine. <laughs> right. And also, this guy and Jen I would never put together. Like, he's got like a fade. Like, he cares about how he looks. Once again, this bitch, no. this bitch has a successful marriage. Well. And I'm single. How do you know it's successful? I mean, well, he, seems to, he seems to. You want to be married? So. I sure don't want to be married to this guy. Look at his shirt. He's not that cool, babe. He's got some sort of like motor a car. car. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it has like different. Can. Oh yeah, and then it has a bunch of sponsor. And it's purple. And it's purple lettering too. And but also, it looks like he's got some gel tips on top. Like he's hanging oh, out. Oh yeah. To that. He like shaves. He does like a one on the bottom half of oh, his hair, and then he. Looks... That's definitely a fade. Oh, uh, it's a fade. Okay. I, uh huh. I that's um, you have a you have a son, so you oh, know these God. words. Uh, and and Jen being like, "Oh, naughty! Oh, I'm gonna just squeeze his little butt." Ooh. Like, how these, these old are banging. you, women? These two aren't. These two aren't banging. Also, this Jen is our age. She's actually three years younger than you. Do I look like that? No! Do, do I look like that? No. <laughs> no. Like, they just, like, give an in and they're like, well, we're middle-aged women. That's fine. Oh, my God. Just and, so and, like, oh, and, and Jen feels, like, cool because her, her husband's there. Like, oh, we're, like, we're cool. Oh, he man. and I just have this, like, chemistry, you know? Like, oh. Yeah. And, and, and Mary's almost, like, flirting with him too because it's like oh he's my best she friend's is. husband yeah. like yeah. we have a thing we have a thing it's it's, we're cool though we're just friends oh, yeah, the thing that yeah. irritates me I think the most and probably you too is that both of us lean on the fact that our one good quality is that we're slightly funny so uh -huh. hearing two people like laughing this hysterically at non-jokes is irritating wait, <laughs> over I see London I see France. <laughs> We're moving. <laughs> it was a cheap truck rent. <laughs> I see London. I see France. Your underwear is showing, man. I see shots on pants. Like, at least, like, put something else on it. Like, I see London. I see Iraq. I see Sean's butt crack or something. Like, put some sort of spin on it. No, no, they're sticking with the classics. I'm at eight minutes and nine seconds. Did it, like, blind. Oh, no, no, no. You could have stepped on that after you discombobulated it. This whole It, it looked like he was about to take that drill and just put it in his mouth. Like, it... 
Did it not just look like just he was straight through his like, neck all the way through? I'm oh, done. should I just undid my headphones? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's miserable. Just put his head <laughs> in that like closet door and just continue, just bang it. <laughs> his life. Oh. Projects for you is like new to me. I mean, it's been a long time since Cody has helped me with anything. Yes, it's been a long time. He used to, but I haven't been part of that equation for a hot second. <laughs> I that is funny. Also, funny. Um, I said that <laughs> depression and rejection. Is so funny. Over <laughs> ten, ten years, years, no one likes me. So <laughs> it's really funny if you think of it. Also, I said when you were gone and you left me, you you, you bailed on me. Um, I, I pointed out that uh, Mary's dead tooth is really a big feature in this episode. Oh, really? Well, just, they're getting you some know, good angles I'm, on it. I'm, I'm catching a view of myself right now. My penance. My punishment for my headphones going out and leaving you there is having no, to wear you this look official. in front of potentially thousands of people. Okay, so there's that. All right, eight minutes and thirty three seconds, and here's Mary just kind of walking through. I didn't through show trees. my under. Oh, no. <laughs> Jody, don't even mention it again because my stomach hurts from laughing so hard. And then if we were. <laughs> It's an in town okay. move. <sighs> Carriage house. Oh. I am actually laughing now. It's okay. Uh, eight minutes, 33 seconds. Very independent <laughs> life. But I still consider myself married to Cody. You know, we have our spiritual commitment, our spiritual marriage. And to me, that is so valid. But we oh have God. lived very separate lives for. So she's Jada. Quite a number of years. How does it feel? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Stop. Stop. I take everything back. I would definitely put these two together. I take back everything I said. The He's, the tips. He... The gel. That's not even tips. This he is Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh, oh. human head weights nine pounds. Like Jonathan Lipnicki has grown up and married Jen. A Friday. He's friends. got um he's got S D E small dick S- energy. <laughs> oh. oh, he's so he's like wormy and squirmy. Speed factory and- racing. <laughs> like it's just I can't. Do you want to hear something depressing? He's most likely younger than both of us. Don't care, <laughs> babe. Um I mean uh, Mary must be offering like a really good vision insurance plan because I can tell you these two and their offspring, they're at the Sears Optical thrice weekly. <laughs> they carry some, I, I just know it. I know it to be true. Lens crafters, Heyman Lee, Don oh, Debbie. Gosh. Debbie, hashtag, you're the best. Um, no, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, professional and actual comedian here in the group. You can you can tell oh, us. I mean, this she is an Jen, actual comedian. You should look her yeah, up. She's Debbie very is. funny. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Debbie is. You not have Jen. to be dying inside watching Jen and Mary right now. <laughs> God. I am at eight fifty five. Life oh. is best friends with a polygamist. Awesome. <laughs> my God, he hates hey, his jealous. life. No. <laughs> no, there's never been any issue with Sean and Jen. The fact that. I'm in a polygamous family. I mean, it's- right. Also, because no one well, because cares, they don't have and you're either. not. Well, and also, you're not in a polygamous family. Right. You have been. You have been released from the family. You just refuse to actually leave. Right, and also he he was debating when he was like, um, he wasn't thinking about whatever it was that he asked them. He was very like, okay, so Jen is now the breadwinner of the family because Mary pays her a ridiculous amount of money to move hangers. Um, to just be her friend. Yeah, I mean, this guy works at Best Buy, and so Mary considers him a contractor now. This Best is just Buy, like, an- another another Adnan reference, Jolanty. Did you or did you not use the pay phone at the Best Buy? Were you or were you there. not stepping out? You know what stepping out means, right? On Jennifer! Serial, season one. <laughs> no spoilers, no spoilers. No, no spoilies. Yeah, right. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm at nine minutes and eleven. I'm at nine eleven. <laughs> Careful. Oh, God. it's nice to be looked at Careful. as just a person instead of just judged for. Oh my gosh, you live this weird lifestyle. You know, that's not the kind of people they are. What well, I I can't. Why now you're muted? Okay, you were really trying to mess with me here. I thought my headphones were not working. Uh, no, I'm good. I, I was muted. about to jump out the window. Okay. I moved my curtains and I un undid my mic. Do you see how much fun these two are having moving this heat lamp? They are having a fucking ball. And of course, they had to do like a jousting joke because these two definitely have like Renaissance fair fantasies. Oh, oh Jen and her husband and Jonathan, grown up. Lip Nikki, our old man Lip Nikki and Jen are definitely fulfilling some sort of uh, cosplay, civil war reenactment. What's the what's the word called? Uh, call, uh, what's the word? LARPing? Mitch does it. LARPing, yeah. All right. Like, it's just really <laughs> easy. Doesn't. And when it's easy, that's what you're more drawn to. I've had relationships like that with different people in my family. Christine and I have had that relationship before. Hi, Stinky. Mm. Hi. Cody and I have had that relationship. Robin and Ooh. I have had that relationship. Janelle and I have not had the laughter kind of relationship. I mean, we, we have- It's because Janelle knows what actual funny is and you're not funny, so why would she laugh? Oh, I, I mean, Mary would just, I would have gotten like a tattoo, just DLO. Just like put them up on my hand didn't anytime, Mary. Like, didn't laugh once, Mary. Yeah. Not that funny. Laughed, but it's not been that close bond. Like, I've had those kinds of relationships in my family, and I wish that I had them now, but I just don't. Am I the best wife you've ever had? Yes. Am I the only wife you've ever had? <laughs> okay, that was a good one, Jody. You have to admit that. That was really funny. I thought they were actually going to be like, oh, he was actually married before we were married. And I would have like gotten like, a, oh, but he hates her. He hates her so much. He hates the new Jen that's Mary's friend because she's taken oh, out Mary. Right. Mary's oh. brought out the real, like, the flavor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the comedy. Is... Mary's brought out the comedy. Um, also, Jen is doing, okay, so like she has the clip. She's got the hair clip. But okay. she's doing it like the 90s way where you just like put it up here and then like put it here and then it falls all the way down. Which yeah, is not how we're yeah. using our hair clips nowadays, babe. No, no. She's using it as an accessory. Um, I'm at 10 minutes and 10, 10 11. Oh, so this is, this is, this is, these are questions that you can't ask a polygamous man. Am I the best wife? Am I the best wife? Although some would actually tell you. No, when you have a favorite wife, it, it definitely doesn't work. I'd seen some plural families where there was a favorite. And I'm like, that's not okay. He can't have a favorite. He has to grow beyond his normal selfish capacity and be able to love uh -huh. all of these women in, in their own way and give them adequate time and connection. You know, in plural marriage, if a man has a favorite wife, it really has to do with loyalty that he feels her loyalty, that he feels that she's loyal to him. If you don't feel loyalty for a wife, she's definitely, you're, you're going to struggle with her. Most men fail, obviously. <laughs> Put that on a chart. Hello? Oh, okay. hi. Oh, baby. Oh. Gwendolyn and Gabe are moving in with Garrison. I don't think it's a good idea. So when are you moving in here then? Probably this weekend. No, already? You found someone to take a release. Gabe and Gwen are both going to move in with Garrison. There is something like about living with somebody who cares if you come home at night or don't come home. Not necessarily parenting you, but just cares about what's going on with you. They are very different politically and just beliefs in general. They're very, very, very different. Could you take Julie? Yes, I agree with this comment that Amanada is saying, and also Anahata Love says, uh, uh -huh. he was about to say Teflon. That. He he definitely was about to say Teflon. Because oh, he because Cody like has gets a word a word of the uh -huh. day calendar. Uh huh. 
I'm at 11.41. And now we're eating our salad, bitches. There's way too many things on this salad. He has truly. Yeah, he took truly. He doesn't usually ask when I come into town. So I just asked him this time, can you just babysit truly for me? And and he's like, can she just spend the night? And I said, yeah. Truly was super excited. She she thinks that her and Cody have a great relationship. So it's great. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye. When I lived in Flagstaff, I firmly believed moving to Utah was the best choice for me and for Truly. I knew that I was taking Truly away from her dad. But he almost I felt killed like her. The best so... way to preserve yeah. <laughs> Truly's relationship with Cody was to move her away from him. And I know it sounds bizarre. I know it sounds like mm. that doesn't quite compute. No, we get it. Oh my God, that stupid it chair. Like it in time. The chair. I, it. I took the relationship while it was still good, and I picked it up and I moved it. And then whenever we come back into town, I just pick it up again and I move it back. And it's preserved. For Christine to think that she's saving my relationship with Truly by taking oh, her away angry. from me and just, just preserving it. I, that's such BS rationalization. That, I mean, I'm laughing now because it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's such you a bad actor. Seen, I don't think you guys yeah, have seen your dad for a while, right? He's pissed. Nope. Have you heard from him? Nope. Nope. I remember him saying something along the lines of he only this cares about This is a pasta salad chicken. bar, Amanda. Like that. Oh, there is. There's penne. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a, a rotini. Oh, yeah. You don't need, this you is a you pasta right. salad bar. This is this is odd. This is odd. There's like radishes and there's pickled beets on the table, too. Yeah, where's which are actually the a very good addition. For it? Because that little crock next to uh, Gabe is not going to be enough for that whole table. Trust me. And no, there's also cottage cheese. Barely any iceberg there to have a build a base for that. This is mainly a pasta bar. Also, I think this salad, salad bar probably. Love a pasta salad. I do too. This 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 whole thing must have cost Christine like two hundred dollars. The amount of like shit yeah, that's on the table. Separately. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want all my uh, fixins in front of me. I don't want everyone to look at me building my my masterpiece, you know? Yeah. And then also, uh, I did notice that the shrimp has cocktail sauce in with it. So I think that yeah. is meant to be eight. Double bowl. Separate from, yeah, separate yep. from the salad. Yep. I'm at 13 minutes and eight seconds. And here, okay, so I'm probably going to let this play a little bit. Because okay. this is where we really get some tea. Okay, so I should just like fully focus. Okay. Yeah, yeah so focus. I'm sorry. Yeah, man, I just work here. (laughs) (laughs) I can observe that Cody seems to have trouble relating to his older children, and he seems to dote on the younger children. And when my children were younger, it was very easy for him to be a father, right? Because he was still kind of this important. He was important to them. His opinion mattered to them. His guidance mattered to them. And now, because they question it a little bit, I think it might be harder for Cody to feel like he's respected. Before all the hurt feelings that happened through COVID, Cody's relationship with his older children, uh, a lot of them were really, really good. Christine Uh-oh. left and we're, we're, we're all that changed. <gasps> She's compl- be- full beaker, by the way. What? Beaker, 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 beaker. Christine left and all that changed. You And all the asshole. older children changed. No, that actually went back. We did this episode not that long ago with the... Um, the God, not the paleontologist, Jesus. Anthropology. Anthropology students. Yeah. And they even said, oh, we notice that you're closer with your younger kids than you are with your older ones. Oh, Why you, is oh that? you mean like the teenagers? No, we mean literally anyone other than Saul. Right. And that was season eight. Yeah. So, no, you've known seven. for a while. That was season seven. Was it? Because we're about to start season eight on our Patreon. No, we're starting season nine. Are we? Whatever. Doesn't matter. I mean, listen, she's known for 10 years. And she really is full beaker. Whoa. Full. I mean, look at that beaker. Look. That that is crazy. I can't do that. Hmm. That puts a, that I takes a lot. Of my mouth. I'm sorry about the lighting here, guys. I have Venetian blinds and now the sun's going down. So I'm going to have like light all across my face. Venetian. Venetian. Uh, I'm in uh, 13 minutes and 51 seconds. Since I last talked to dad, I bought a house. I got into school. And I got the 
car that I wanted that he told me I should never get. Based. And he doesn't know anything? No. He doesn't care to. I've reached out to Garrison mm -hmm. and uh, Gabriel. I reached out to them just before Christmas. And I reached out to them um, after. Uh, no, they're blocking me. They're not They're not interested in talking to me. Sure. I'm like, you know how many of those, like, comic come. Convenient. Right, I'm at 14. I know, and it's like, congratulations, you reached out. It's blocked. They're blocking me. That's your responsibility then now. How would you know? That is your responsibility. Yeah. Go to where they live and talk to them. Go to where they work or something. Email. That's, he doesn't know their emails. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, 1442 I'm at, because I skipped the little commercial thingy. All right, here's Gwendolyn. Baby! Hi, you look so cute. We got, we've got pie. We have pie. Uh, key lime. Oh, we have the aforementioned key lime pie, finally. Janelle's on her um, computer. Uh, Gwendolyn missed the salad bar, I guess. Janelle's just like, oh, she's got to get caught up on some work. Just who knew? I, got, yeah. I saw some spam in Hawaii last week. I got a post about it. <laughs> Salad bars. Oh, no. We also right have dinner. It depends on what you want. Wow. That's for dinner. Thank you. Okay, have your plate. I always like it, it when someone else makes the dessert. Oh, okay, can fair. I just ask? Because I don't know what I happened. Love I feel like Kilan I was kind Pike. of out of the loop when I was mm. leaving Dad and moving everything like that. What did happen with you guys and Robin and you guys and Dad? We were discussing, like, you know how we do those like Secret Santa thing for Christmas? Yeah. So Robin was like, We're we should do it over Zoom. So that we can, like, everybody see each other. And she was like, Ariel is forgetting who you guys are. For the last 20 years, we've had a gift exchange where we draw names and we pick a gift for another sibling for the name we drew. I'm going to cry. Yay! <laughs> so there's a flashback there where they're, like, picking names and Logan's like, and I have Aurora. Because Aurora's mm -hmm. got to have everything. And, you know, Logan's yeah. like, ugh. Oh, I'll get her like one I don't want to get. <laughs> you know what I would get for Aurora? I would get her like that five pack of lip smackers where one of the flavors oh. is Dr. Pepper. Some people like the Dr. Pepper though, Amanda. I, I mean, I, I, I those aren't very good chapsticks though. I have yeah, I have a bottle of Vaseline everywhere in my house. I have one in my car, next to my couch, next to my bed, and room right here. I feel like Aurora would, would brag and she put like all five of them in a purse that Cody got her and just like walk around with them and And then she'd leave it outside and it would melt like, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mentality says I'd get I her get a leash. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, okay. All right. All right uh, 15 I love that they're telling us about the group chat. Okay. Yeah, this is this is what I thought we were at earlier, but they're gonna really spill the tea here, so just okay. listen. So Aspen started this text thread saying, hey, it's time to do the gift exchange. Oh, by the way, now Aspen has uh, started the gift thread. Okay. So now three different people have said that they started the gift thread. Logan, mm. McKelty, and Aspen. Okay. So I think there's a lot of a lot of threads, a lot of different uh, threads. So Robin was like, we need to do it over Zoom. And everybody else was like, well, that has like not a personal feel. So everybody was like giving up ideas. And I think I was like, we can make it a competition, whichever moms do it quicker or something. And then Robin made it all about herself and mentioned something about trauma, how there's a bunch of past trauma. Which, by the way, where's the trauma coming from? Because dad prefers them. Yeah. We can all agree on this, right? From my perspective, Cody did not choose us. My kids and I wanted to be a part of this family and wanted to be accepted and loved by everyone. Hey! Well, too bad because you all suck. Except Dayton's man, I guess. Eh, I don't even know. Jerry's and also, still was, out. Is that not their okay, did Robin? Anymore? Did Robin want them to Zoom a meeting about picking names or did she want to Zoom for Christmas? They said it was too impersonal. I don't understand what was on Zoom. I don't understand this either. Guys, um, because I've watched this a few times, each time I there's something not being yeah. said here, but I guess yeah. maybe all of Christmas or something, yeah, or who's picking what, yeah, I don't know. 
I mean, if they wanted to do it and Robin and her kids couldn't come, then like, oh, well, I guess you miss out. And if Ariella is forgetting yeah. who you are, that's your fault. Yeah. That is your fault. She I'm doesn't go here. If my kids didn't know someone. It would be my fault. I'm not bringing them up. I'm not talking about them. I'm not no, showing Jody, pictures. It's, it's Christine's fault because she left. All right, I'm at 1628. <coughs> when we were blending families years ago, there was a lot of trouble. I didn't feel like I had a lot of support from the other parents to do this blending. And there was a lot of things that what? happened that were hard. But that Liar. started to kind of go away after 10 years or so of it. But then when COVID Shut hit, up. all of a sudden, my kids and I were excluded again. Okay, bullshit. And Stop for a second. all of a second. sudden, we weren't... I'm just going to say what everyone's thinking. Yeah, let's roll the tape where Christine was like, you hired a nanny and a babysitter. I like, I want to know your kids and be their mom. Are you serious? And also, you oh, the kids picking up their lifestyles and going to Vegas because that's where Vagina Daddy and your mom lived. Picking up and going to Flagstaff. Like, this is all lies. They always were including her kids. Yep. And everyone in the chat is kind of solving this for us. It seems like maybe Robin wanted the gift exchange to happen over Zoom and the kids wanted it to happen live. Okay. Like, like the actual the exchange part. But it was COVID Jody. Oh, my God. Tender Aurora. Yep. She oh, I love this. It. A year supply of love's baby soft for Aurora. Yes. She definitely still does. She definitely still wears that. And good question. I forgot who just asked it. I threw it up there. Um, we're wondering if Robin's kids know how to drive. I can see her like not having Aurora. Well, Aurora's so too nervous. Cars. She's attacks. Aurora probably has like a disability thing where like she can't drive on her own because she gets panic attacks and some bullshit. But there's so many cars always parked at their house. Oh, that's true. Then she wouldn't be able to get her own car. Mm, she beat it up, Joe. Mm. I think Aurora does use the car because she said that one time when she was talking about that traumatic event where she had to spend 10 days in the basement. She said, well, there's a there's a door that I can leave yeah, from the from basement outside. and get into my car right. and go to NAU to study astrology or astronomy. Sure, she will. Okay. Yeah, yeah just like Amber Port would go to Purdue. <laughs> Boilermakers for life. Boiler yeah. Maker. God, she still doesn't know that's not where she went. Okay. Um, at 1655. She was like testing us. They were complaining about trauma and like how we don't respect her as a mother and all of this weird stuff. Because I've always considered them my siblings. I still do. And I could still consider her a mom. Before I got on the text chain for this gift exchange, this is the we had learned that mm -hmm. there were some very strong negative feelings towards us coming from some of the siblings and we also yeah you found that what? out from robin your mother yeah who is gaslighting you and you think your mom robin is gonna have the tea on what your siblings think about you yeah. they're not oh, talking it... to your mom you loser you i found we dumb. found out from someone who the fuck are you talking to like what, it, what it, again we can't excuse like, oh, okay, they're Robin's kids, whatever. But wouldn't you be like, mom, how do you know that? Where did you hear that? Well, she's manipulated. I mean, they have brainwashed these kids so far now. They all believe anything. All right. Okay. Um, uh, 1718 is where I'm at. And Aurora's still talking. So let's get this over with. <laughs> they were planning on having Christmas without us, without saying anything to us. It what? was very frustrating for me. And I felt really hurt and confused. She's confused like her mom all the time. To change uh -huh. it so you would... No, I see it getting worse progressively. And so Robin said to us that because of, like, we weren't respecting us, she was like, we're not going to uh, participate in Christmas with you. All of a sudden, oh. I got, like, this kickback and Wait. attitude from the older kids. And I was like, I don't know why I'm trying. Just felt very, very um, defeated. It, we really, truly, my kids and I have felt like we got voted off the Brown family island. Well, first uh, of all, you're, okay. you don't go here. So you were never on the Brown family island. And it's yeah. it was your responsibility in the beginning Yep. to yep. let them love you. It's not their fucking yep. fault that you destroyed their entire family. Robin. Yeah, and also, it doesn't make sense, Aurora. And she's like, we learned they were going to have Christmas and without us. And they weren't going to tell us. 
No, they're telling you now before Christmas, we're not having Christmas with you. That's how it works, dumb dumb. Like and you it's they wanted to have a gift you, exchange too. They wanted to do Christmas together. And if they're telling you we're not having Christmas with you, that is them telling you. They're not not telling you. Like a God I'm freaking dummy. Um and Brianna being like, Oh, they just they don't want to like I was confused with us anymore. I was confused. Robin, like, shame on you. You're if your kids are really this confused as you are, you are all stupid. Yeah, and I I wish that Dayton would make like some kind of statement or something. Like he doesn't he has no responsibility to do that for us. But I think he's just like, I want I want out. I don't want to be yeah. part of this. I don't want to be featured. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and, um, and the older kids are not gonna respect you stepping in as their mom when you want to be their mom and tell them what to do without like earning the respect or right. treating them as if they are your children. You want to be treated yeah. like a mom, but you don't want to treat them like you would treat your own kids. You monster. I'm at 1801. That is, that is absolutely how we have felt. She said, I'm not talking to you guys anymore. And then she told McKelty and Logan to tell us that she wasn't going to talk to us anymore. So a few days after the confrontation, we got a text message from McKelty saying that Robin and her kids weren't going to participate in this year's gift exchange. And it kind of hurt. He's about to cry. It's just yep. true division. I think if you can look back and figure out where the lanes were drawn, a definite line was drawn that day. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen after this. If they get together next year, I, I don't know. Robin turned it into us trying to ostracize her and played the victim. And we said, no, this is about us trying to figure out how we can do this and adjust to your new like, Christmas That's my rules boy. so that we can all do this Christmas <laughs> exchange because we've been doing it for 20 years. Robin Ooh. never made any of the Christmas COVID rules or anything like that. That's not her job. That's my job. Uh, roll the I tape. We rules. saw her. No. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. No. And also, we get it, Cody. The toxic masculinity is... I'm over it at this point. That's my job. It's my job. It's my job to make the rules. Yeah, it, well, I'm over right, it. But you were also asking Robin, hey, uh, can Mary hang out with Ariola right. and King Saul? And she's like, no. No, no, no Cody. Cody. This is not the time. No, so like, yeah, else you do mad. make the rules. Yeah, Robin got, she's like, everyone else will wonder why they can't touch uh, Solomon and Ariola. It's like, none of them want to. No one yeah. wants your kids around anyway. Yeah, don't worry don't about it. it. Yeah, leave them with your fucking nanny. I'm at 1907. She took that, put it, whatever she, process she does, and made her the victim by doing that. She wasn't mean it that way. I love it. That we weren't trying to, that she, she was gaslighting everyone into she treating was. her with uh, special treatment. Literally. She was <laughs> gaslighting. Because for the past like eight years, she's made herself the victim because she was the last wife. You never made yourself the victim. She, she yeah. is the catalyst of all this. And what do you mean by catalyst of all of this? Of using COVID to make that exclusive. And then turning yourself into the victim and saying that it's our fault. Mm -hmm. And dad also yep. chose to spend Christmas with her. Instead when of the we've rest just of us. been when we've just been living our own lives and protested for the sake of your marriage and mom's marriage, we protested. Once those were down the drain, we were just like, cool, we're gonna do our own thing. She no longer could feel the victim because she could no longer feel us attacking her because we just gave up. We didn't care about her anymore. All of you are just kind of jerks. <laughs> I don't want to be around you. And I'm tired of it. And I don't want to call them. And I don't want to talk to them. And that's why I'm done with Robin. Well, tough care shit to because to you're anymore. the father. You're their yeah, dad. You so you don't are get the... to just, you don't get to just check out and be like, nope. Okay, I changed my mind. Also, because these kids paid for that mansion that you're sitting in now. Their entire lives have been filled. Yep. So and they, they, got, they made zero money off of it. And yeah, and call them and say, thank you. Thank yeah. you for letting me film your entire life, treat you and your mothers like shit so I could sit here with this beaker face bitch and our annoying ass kids for the rest of my life. And he goes, you're all just Ugh. jerks. They're all jerks. Awful. Awful. That, that, that's um, unforgivable. 
And, and it's not even like him just saying this, it's him saying it on TV where it will live for eternity. You're calling your kids jerks. And I don't, I'm, I'm over it. You're the dad. Like, why doesn't he fucking get yeah. that? You're the dad. Um, you don't get to give up. You have to continuously work on your relationship. If your kids are, I mean, listen, there's circumstances where you have to make boundaries and stuff, but like his kids are rebelling because they want a relationship with him. Yeah. Because they good miss kids. him. They and miss Garrison, him. And Garrison was saying like, I have a house. I have a car. I have a, I got into school. Like yeah. I did all, it's not like he's like this piece of shit loser, like drug addict. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Like there's certain times when of course you have to like draw boundaries and all that kind of stuff, but they have done, they've asked you for nothing except a relationship. That's it. They <gasps> wanted to see you. Oh my God. Are you okay? Oh, 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 you're muted, but who knew? Oh man. <laughs> we, we are going through right, it. No, my, my computer almost fell off. Okay. We're, we're like those poor shrimp sitting at that salad bar. We're just getting tossed around left and right. Oh, you're muted again. Oh God. Why can I not hear you? Oh shit. Is it my, I, I'm plugged in. I'm good. Oh God. Oh God. I was going to murder you again. Uh, I'm at 2020. A uh, 2020. I, I felt like Aurora about to have a panic attack. Okay. <laughs> not going to do this i'm doing my own thing and robin's mad that she can't have this effect on our lives anymore because we just don't care anymore and i'm not speaking on behalf of the siblings but this is what i think all the siblings think that this is us going you know what robin have him because we don't care anymore we're all grown adults that don't need a father figure anymore we i would like to, to say that i didn't care yeah but it still hurts all right, we don't need dad anymore. <gasps> I think every kid needs a dad. Always. They watched the episode where you he said they're adults. Bye -bye. Yeah, and I then think that's what meanwhile, that's from. It's their Gabe adults. is sitting at the table. Uh -huh. Gabe, I don't think, is in agreement with Garrison here. G Gabe is like still so hurt. Garrison's yeah. over it. Oh, Garrison's at the FU. I'm done. Yeah. Which he totally. can pack it away, he can move past it, but it's still yeah. Gabe is still grieving. And Gwen is kind of in the middle where she's like, I'd like to say it doesn't hurt, but it, it does hurt. And then Gabe is just like trying to not yeah. cry sitting at the table here. Yeah. Uh, I'm at 2104. See how I'm holding it? Yes. I still need my dad. Walking on the water. And that was a bad one. I think every kid needs a dad. Yeah. The truths were right. revealed. And especially because they I'm had at, him and lost him. Like, they do yeah, know the difference. Yeah. And they're seeing him. I don't think every him. kid needs a dad, but they've had him before and now he's left them. Well, they want to see the dad that he's being to Aurora Brenna. Aurora. Ariel. You know, like. Dab Sark. God. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's okay, go. I'm going on, we go. now I, I'm going on mute so you don't have to hear this. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> I'm at 2142. I'm just, I'm sorry, it's a natural response. I'm saying a natural response. I don't know what else to say. I'm not apologizing for Cody's behavior, but God, I wish they could have it easier and better. Yeah, who needs a dad when you have two moms? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Notice how Mary wasn't involved in that? <laughs> two moms. Not Mary. Okay, you only need us. Just you two. Yeah. <sighs> Mary's hat. Mary's like, oh, doing yeah, her own yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Mary well, was She's on the road bit. doing her comedy yeah. sets every night, you know? With Jen and Jen. All right, I'm at 2204. <laughs> love is love. Love is love. <laughs> 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 it's not quite like that. Sister wives, still. We're sister wives. Your mom, yeah. like, like we totally consider ourselves sister wives. I yeah. think it's valid. You just divorced the man. Yeah. There's nobody that says you're divorced when you're a sister wife. So I'm like, you can't, I chose when my divorce yeah. date was. I may not be able to give my kids a dad, but I can give them Janelle for goodness sakes. 
when we oh, merged the families, cute. I think maybe yeah. we missed a few really important. We missed some stuff. Yes. We didn't. We didn't merge very well. We didn't. We just didn't merge well. We tried. Oh my gosh, we tried. And I don't. I've been accused of bullying. I don't remember bullying anybody. So Cody accused me of bullying my sister wives, and basically that's code for he's accusing me of bullying Robin. I I never I never actually accused Christine of bullying. She was. Uh, do you want to roll the tape of knife in the kidneys? monologue that yeah. you gave last year you never tried yep yeah, no we saw you say that you all the time said it. you treated her yeah you never tried you never treated her well no like this oh, is the God. definition of gaslighting like he yes. just is lying roll we the saw tape. this roll the tape <sighs> just a crap sister wife she was just trash talking janelle and mary all the time Oh, Up bullshit. until Thanksgiving, I would call dad about advice I needed. But no. Okay. Know. I still miss Aurora, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just dating. Really? And I want to amend my relationship with my siblings. Are you going to. Yeah, Gwen said on her Patreon before, or on her like QAs or whatever, that yeah. um, her favorite sister used to be Aurora, but now it's Isabel. But like she, like something happened, and I would love to know that story. Something Aurora happened between her and Aurora. Spoiled. Yeah. Aurora started knowing, like, oh, I'm better than you guys. But they were, like, best like, friends, I, like, their whole lives. But I feel like they started realizing, like, oh, we get, like, the nicer stuff over here. And, like, oh, don't hang out with them. Like, ew, don't touch them. Absolutely. That's what it was. Is Aurora started, like, like we're up here. Too big of an assault. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, 2310 is my timestamp. Trying to. Are you guys going to. I'm going like, to try, but if Robin's there, I don't give it. So yeah, no one's talked to her in person. Now, the truths were revealed, and we all just said, cool, this is the point where we all go. We're done. Would you do a face-to-face -face conversation with her? And kids? Oh, you wouldn't. It, it would not be good. I don't have the emotional maturity to do a face-to-face -face with her. And she'd probably ma manipulate us or start crying. <gasps> I laughed out loud. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, she'd probably manipulate They're us or start crying. It. Oh my yeah. god, I love it. That was, I mean, that was perfect. There's nothing to say. They said everything yeah. we've all been saying for years. Just boom, yeah. right there. She's gonna cry. Yeah, no, she's like crying I, and I, manipulating us. And I love that Gary's at the point. He's like, I just, I, I know myself well enough. I'm not gonna be mature about it. I'll go yeah. off on that. Which is actually, it's a very emotionally mature thing for him to say. To say that that makes him oh, very yeah. emotionally mature to know. Yep. Now, if I fucking see her face, I'm gonna like. It's yeah, gonna be I'm not ready. Pointless. I'm not ready there. Yeah. All right. They smashed that light. I just realized that nothing I would ever say or do at this point, they're going to ever see with the right intention that I mean it. The love that I will have for them, even the hurt that I have. Why would I be hurt if I didn't care? They're never going to see me as a Because you're a fucking victim. You don't care. Yeah. And if they're, it, it can't be that 20 some people are taking it the wrong way. That's not yeah. your intention. Well, then maybe reword things and actions yeah. speak the louder common than denominator? words. denominator? You dumb bitch. God. And also, once again, Robin, Emotional you're trauma. the parent. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. We all have emotional trauma, okay? Every parent has emotional trauma too. But you put it to the side and you help the kids that you married it to. You chose to come into this. I'm at 2351, oh, and Robin's complaining, her and her eyebrows look like shit. I love it. <laughs> How you doing, quiet boy? Um, I don't know. I've talked to Aurora a little bit. Uh, I see her at school. Wait, you you talked to Aurora? Yeah. You see her? Yes. Okay. Aurora is the only one from that side of the family who I've heard say I love you since Ooh. COVID. Because she's also kind of. Me and Gabe have bumped into each other a few times on campus. Man, hugs given, well wishes, I love yous, just sort of like checking in on each other. Personally, Gabe has been nothing but kind. So. That sounds like she's pained to say that. Like, she knew her mom wasn't going to like hearing that. Because she said, also, personally, Gabe has been nothing but kind. Meaning, like, she has to bring in her defense of why she thinks that. She knows Why she's don't you tell your uh, your uh, mouth kissing daddy, mouth daddy, uh, yeah. if Gabe's been nothing but kind? Why don't you uh, relay that information to Cody? Yeah, 
Actually, they do want to include us because they've been very nice to us. So, Aurora, you're an adult. What you're seeing in actions around campus and what daddy and mommy are telling you are two different things. Yeah, maybe they're wrong. Use your free will and, like, do something about it. Yeah, Aurora went off script. Uh, Aurora's waking up. Maybe Aurora's going to end up being the hero of the, the story. Oh, dream big sucks dream big <laughs> i'm at 24 28 so long she's always in the science building okay so if you roll through i'll allow it i'm gonna go hunt her down this has been a hard conversation it's really hard and garrison has done a lot of digging has been very very vulnerable this is a divorce and in most senses a divorce is a civil war so she's just feeding flames in a civil war. A civil war is what he thinks a divorce she's is. Feeding the flames of a civil war. You know who else um, fanned the flames of a civil war divorce? Uh, Cody and Robin. After Robin got a divorce. So oh, like that's karma. Right. What Weird. goes around comes yeah. around. You monsters. Now you're on the other side of it. And. So, like, he- much to like what maggie is saying here divorce doesn't have to be war that's what i was just gonna say me and brad had the easiest divorce yours was a little more complicated because you have kids and like actual money we had we had nothing well there's a reason people get a divorce right you're not gonna be like oh my god i miss you this is amazing like let's like hug it out every time you see each other but like yeah it doesn't have to be war you can be annoyed with each other but this is ridiculous yeah, it's he's. They're such getting an off idiot. on it. Yeah, the, yeah. the, 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 the civil war. Uh, Twenty four fifty four is where I'm at. Yeah, and Cody's Cody complaining, it. and Cody's obviously recently had his hair dyed blonde, but then his uh, beard. He he now has three different colors going on in his head because he's got a ton of gray in his beard, but then also a little bit of brown. Uh, so right. brown, white, and like this pastelly blonde. Mm. And I think she's got some terrible karma coming. Oh my God, imagine oh, wow. your father loving you. I still think he loves you. I just don't think... you? No, I, I still think he loves you. I just think he's been... All right, guys, that's, that's enough. I don't know. That's enough. It's okay, let her say. I, I, I still, think, say I still think he loves you. He just... Um, he's just angry at you for, like, no reason. I told Gwendolyn for years that her dad loves her. But it's not my job to convey... Yep. God's love to Gwendolyn. It's his job. Every talk, every trash talk, every opinion is absolutely reciprocated. I think the same thing of them. If there's one thing that I wish Robert and kids could understand is that we, we, we'd all forgive them. If you want to come back and uh, participate in this gift exchange with us, you're always welcome. You know, the arms are open. But if you don't, then we're not going to chase. Uh, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of drama. I, need, I, I think we should take a break from this and sure. discuss it another It's time. your house. You make the rules. That sounds yeah. great. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, for letting me cook for you. Going back to five yeah, stuff. You, 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 you didn't cook. Yeah, you, you, you chopped up some stuff. Um, um, I really also, like Christine. This Sophie says here, sorry if I can say, mm-hmm. as someone whose mom had to tell me my dad loved me on his behalf, I totally agree with Christine here. Same. I get it. Living it then now never ever whatever um yeah if you have to explain to your children then no he like loves something's you. wrong there and at the end of the day it's... what matters the re the reality doesn't matter it's what your kids are feeling they are not feeling loved by you so whether right. you do or not well, is not he's saying that he doesn't do love them making something he, about it he said whatever bad stuff they think about me i think that of them God. which is just so evil what a fucking yeah. i'm sorry what were you gonna say christine oh christine would definitely like continue that conversation for the next three hours if the kids had let her <laughs> she, she's she's loving it she's like no no, no say, more. Did, say more though i thought it was kind of cute though that she was like nope it's your house your rules like yeah oh, you're an adult now i thought that was just kind of cute well, she's like producer she's thing. producer christine uh That's she wrapped true. it up with a little bow um at 2605 visiting Gwendolyn and Janelle and her kids. <laughs> That's like the best thing in Flagstaff. But going back to Flagstaff means this. Can 
going back to this and talking about the hardest times of my life. Let's clean it up, call it a night. So no heartbreak for the night. And then I have to go back in the past and I have to discuss everything that was difficult. And that's what Flagstaff is, unfortunately. I hope they feel some sort of a burden lifted. I hope so. No, I don't know. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, a five. I just went ahead twice. McKelty brought Avalon into town. It's her birthday, and we are going to have a little birthday celebration for Avalon. Miss Avalon! So, for Avalon's birthday, they have a professional photo yeah. shoot situation. There's a whole. Here. What the f photo shoots set up like what the yeah because robin probably bought a ring light at 4 a.m when she was up on you know it was, it yep. was a dill yep she uh, hired someone to come out yep so this is like this. this is now their way of cody and robin being like no we're really close though to the family uh-huh look at oh look we're the great fun we're grandparents house way yeah. more fun than over there at grandma christine and grandma janelle's now when they're sitting at the table and avalon's blowing out her cake You'll see okay. in the very, like, like she's sitting at the head of the table, Brianna wrapped up in the blanket looking like, um, like the Grim Reaper, I want to say. Ooh, uh, okay. okay. I'm at 27, 23. You know, she whines a lot to mom and dad, but she gets really enthusiastic a lot of times. It's just cute. Oh, like a baby? I missed all the struggles we're having as a family. I love that McKelty is still warm to us. She's not even like backing off. She wants a relationship with Robin. She wants us to have a relationship with Avalon. There she is. Here, do you see Brianna? I think a lot oh of that God. has to do with Tony. Tony loves Robin. I don't know where Aurora. Happy birthday, dear. Tony and I really get each other. He's a good kid. I can't say kid. He's not really a kid, but I mean, compared to me, he's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. No, you're not. Um, that was also, one single Avalon... moment where I felt okay with Robin. I felt like she was being like a normal person in that moment. You yeah, think no, that? I don't. No, no, because she's trying to be like, I'm the cool mom that likes she, you. I think most, she thinks Tony. that Tony has a crush on her, just like she used to with Logan. Yes. I think she, also, that's what, she's like, we. I want to make sure everyone clocked that Avalon was trying to push Tony's face, Tony's face away from the cake. Like, get away, Dan. And he's like, I love, I love Avalon. Oh. Yeah, your hair is going to be like his hair. Yeah, he wears his hair. She, like she was saving him. Your hair is about to get to my <laughs> candle, Dad. Yeah. Move away before this whole place goes up in flames. Because oh we God, know that the, the, the real money's in that artwork. That's going to go up. I can't <laughs> believe that they have sex with each other. Um, oh, 2804 is my timestamp. Robin and McKelty have had a really close relationship from the time I started courting Robin. This is weird. Frankly, both Christine and I were benefited by this relationship that Robin had with McKelty. She saw McKelty in a way Christine and I had it. As a babysitter for her kids. Oh, oh there's our favorite team. To saw them. Yep. And you got to see the, the calendar. Cody. 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 Every weekend. And then like one day's like Dentist appointment. <laughs> it was right in the middle of the month and on a Wednesday. And, and why uh, is Cody saying Robin and I benefited from McKelty no, and Robin's relationship? That bitch. God. Way to uh, twist stuff, man. That is so fucked up that McKelty still thinks that that was a healthy thing that they did for her is let it, yeah. letting her allowing McKelty to move into yeah. Robin's house to be a nan, a free nanny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like yeah. Jugs McGee. Yeah, Christine doesn't know anything. She <laughs> she didn't know anything like... about uh about McKelty. It was all for her advantage. Uh 2829 is my timestamp. Kelty just just wasn't treated very nice by her older sibling. I didn't know she was with her. And Robin saw it and Robin just 
just said oh. yeah, she's super cool and she's amazing and she kind of just really took like a McKelty really great babysitter just loved her she's definitely been like another mom to McKelty. Go. Okay. Okay. her shoulders are out her shoulders coming out yeah 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 she's coming she's coming there we go oh we got it <laughs> Amanda, I love you and I love Versa. I do not want to. I, I couldn't do that. You just be like, Jenny, I really, I know you can't be here, but I want you to be here for the birth. I, I couldn't. <laughs> no, I, I would probably want you. Well, I would, I would probably have you like, like his wife my if he's yeah. straight and he gets married, his wife being like, I want you to, I'd be like, honey, I love you, but I can't. Also, the, like, and also, is this not the nicest thing a person could do? Is Christine fresh yes. off of a divorce allow yep. this bitch to be in there? And she's like, "Look, mm -hmm. here she comes!" And she's like moving the computer down so she can like yeah. see a better shot. Yep, she got like I don't know if I'd be that over mature. her laptop thing. Uh huh. Just to so get zone. a good view. Yeah, right. <laughs> And she'll be at any of McKelty's like big moments. She'll be at too. Definitely. Resume. No, let's pull that camel out, sweetie. Look at Brianna. Right, right. Areola, don't touch. Not for you. <laughs> well, she did. She uh, Ariola just touched the that, cake. Not your I turn. Guess points for not having a pacifier in her mouth, at least for this scene, since well, she's, she's like twenty-seven years old. Gonna, <laughs> that whole yeah, cake is ready. for her. She's gonna throw a tantrum. Uh, oh, they probably have a separate cake just for Ariola, just so that it's they got fair, more can so that Ariola could blow out candles too, so she wouldn't be left out. A hundred percent, that happened. Or they gave like a candle to her so she could lift the frost. Yeah, definitely. Hi, thank you, Poopy. I love you, Walter. Okay, so now this is like the last scene, but it's uh, Christine and Janelle and three friends at Josephine's restaurant, which we have seen before. I think this is the restaurant that they went to when they were like up in like this weird like attic. Yes, I remember. And yep. Mary was like, well, I was walking along. I was walking around your house, Robin, and you didn't invite me in. And Robin's like, I didn't know you were in town. Yeah. And Mary's yeah. like, well, just, I mean, I guess that's just how it is. Uh, and now we're going to go to a different uh, attic. Um, oh. Check out the ambiance of this room that they're about to go in. I'm at 2932. I'm introducing Janelle to my friends in Flagstaff. We're going to go out to dinner tonight. Yes, definitely a picture. Okay. Look definitely. at this. Yes. And yeah, to you. Hey, can I please have the, uh, can I please re uh, request the chair where the uh, wall or the, the ceiling is going to be hitting my actual head? the entire meal so when i get one good laugh in she's gonna go yeah I bong, <laughs> and then oh okay we're all laughing but like it honestly hurt and i'm terribly embarrassed um yeah i mean the, the decor in this place is um dad's office upstairs that there's nothing on the walls used. there's like a, yeah. a craftsman tiffany's lamp um some sensible curtains from Target that don't just close, they don't through. meet up yeah. in the middle. They're <laughs> they met to the side. Yeah. Also, how much does this room suck for the serving staff that they have to like walk? Oh. They probably have to walk oh up three God. flights of stairs. This is a pass it down. Burger, can you pass it? Thanks, pass it down. There, there's uh -huh. a way to walk behind them to serve. <laughs> oh, this is so uncomfortable. Oh, I'm at 29.39. It's carpeted. Ew. Yeah, That's this disgusting. place sucks. Ew. Josephine smell like water damage. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's right. Midwest Jess says th this was the, the this is what we were talking about. That's the the restaurant they went to when Mary asked for help moving, and they told yes. her to hire someone. Which again, I don't really understand that conversation either. Because yeah, Mary, hire someone. I don't want to fucking help you move. Yeah, Do you, you know how much money we you, make on this the show? Maybe the boys could come all over. And yeah, why didn't they go to Salsa hey, Brava? Hey, hey. <laughs> that broom is still so like, leaning up against the wall. Yeah, um, I'm at 29.39. Let's go. You are the one who takes in. You are. Yeah, you are. So Christy's getting all of her girlfriends together, the friends that she's collected during her time here in Flagstaff, which I'm thrilled about because I need friends. Oh, oh, it's oh. my ex-anniversary. <laughs> like mine and Cody's 
old anniversary today. So how many years would it have been today? <laughs> Megan Mullally? Okay, so it's born in 94. It's a and long how long time. Christine is friends. She does sound cute. We knew it. We just hung out. We just hung out. We were just good friends. Yeah. For like three years. I knew him like three years before. Yeah. Celebrating the day of our divorce isn't enough. I also need to celebrate our old anniversary, our ex-anniversary. <laughs> I don't know. Don't people celebrate their ex-anniversary? It's so no. weird to get in conversation lately about my situation. And I was with Russ for 30 years, and they're like, what? And like, well, they're I, spilling the officially tea. divorced. Last May. And um, and I just had my year anniversary living in my... Wow. Living out. Yeah, in March. My friends in Flagstaff are incredible, and I met them through Isabel. Oh, by the way, I clocked... Um, Everyone's drink. Everyone is drinking alcohol, including Janelle, who's drinking a sensible glass of Pinot Grigio. Oh, Chardonnay. God love her. Some she's like, a, ooh, yeah. that Moscato is really tasty. The Moscato, yeah, she's going sweet. She's yeah, going yeah, like yeah. the she's dessert. Her Riesling and Moscato. <laughs> yep. Yeah. By the way, I just sent you to your text message. You don't need me to look headaches. at it. Headaches. God, Miss Scotter gives me headaches. Uh, I sent you your text message, but you don't need to look right now. But uh, Jean sent us the. The script, the script. Oh, for I see it. Okay, so, okay, we'll oh. save it. So, yeah. We all got together to throw our kids a graduation party. Um, we've just been friends ever since. They're all in different. Oh, yeah. Isabel's graduation party. No oh. one else can feel it for you. Only hey. you can let it in. No one else, no one else can feel the rain on your skin. The rest are still on. Wasn't Aurora oh. playing? And Brianna. Yeah, she was. Brianna and then Brianna's like the rats are still on return. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Walter. I bet you they scary. have family karaoke night. Like, oh, oh your voice is like an angel. Girls just wanna have fun. You know that that's what they're singing, Aurora and Brianna. Oh, and, and, and they're like, Mom, dance, dance, Mom. You're so <laughs> do your <funny>. hip hop. <laughs> Wait, what's what? What she? She does this, yeah, <laughs> but with a, ca a baseball cap. Oh, a baseball cap. Um, a bedazzled Wait, one. Oh, Wait, no. and, and what? And what's Cody doing? Please do my favorite thing. What's Cody doing? Okay, do the Cody uh, face. I love. Why are you I don't know why. Are you listening to this? And Janelle's just sitting there like. <sighs> Is this her song? Do we have to play? We have to pay per song. Oh, it comes with it. Okay, just making sure. Do we have to pay royalties on this, Cody? No. Okay, good. We can keep it. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, Latrice has actually only made one uh, one appearance this episode. So <laughs> Producer Latrice shut this down. So <laughs> uh, the rest is still in return. <laughs> All right, next thirty Russ. minutes. Like, I, I can't wait to hear about Russ and Christie's divorce. That's what we're here for. Yeah, so I we, know. We waited eighteen seasons to hear about Russ and Christie. I thought you were saying Rust, a.k.a. the movie that uh, Alec Baldwin accidentally murdered someone. <laughs> it was an accident. Could have been intentional. Could have been intentional. All right. <laughs> I'm at okay. a 30-53. Let's these other relationships like you have some that are happily married and have been since they were like 19 and then all the way down to divorce and on to their second marriage. Now how's Rust with the kids and stuff? Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. When you leave and you're divorced, you have this new identity now that's different than who you were when you were married. And even when you were single before that, you're just different. It's super important to find like-minded people. It's weird. Yeah. I never thought I'd be here. Me either. After 30 years. So this is awesome. This is the perfect way to celebrate my ex-anniversary. So at home, Isabel makes pancakes. So she calls... That's lovely. <laughs> okay, let me just watch your head. Oh, Weird. It's like, watch your head. <laughs> it's like Cody of all people, but I'm not answering that right now. Why are we oh, calling you today? I, I, seriously, yeah. that, was, that was Cody. He's manipulative. I, anniversary. I have no idea why Cody's calling me. I have no idea.
I found out that Christine was in town, so I called her because I wanted to see if Truly was available. Oh yeah, I forgot about that great that great relationship you have with Truly. So obviously, yeah, Truly is available. (laughs) So you heard she was in town, so you call. You should have been like keeping in contact before that, so you would know when they're coming. Have Truly's number, I assume. Uh, that's true and i'm sure truly has a phone um and like he he just came in he's like well i called her because i'm gonna doth protest too much Cody. Yeah, exactly like, settle exactly. down girl you get a little too excited can uh, i take the call uh, uh yeah. no okay so i have to tell you guys so last year for my anniversary for my oh, right. anniversary, i just told him because the anniversary before that i knew it was over and i just said you know what i really want for my anniversary this year from you he's like what and i said nothing please don't call me on my birthday and what? then what did he do he just called you well i know it's weird right and so he's like no, what about if we post a picture of ourselves and i'm like ah. and he goes oh so you don't want to pose in a picture with me i'm like no it's hard to leave a marriage it's really hard it is hard to know when you're done. It's hard to show your kids that you're done. It's hard to show the world that you're done. It is hard to leave a marriage. So, hey, 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 cheers. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. Hey. Okay, so Christine had had a Moscow mule for her first trip, yep. and now she's upgraded to a like frozen like a. Uh, Daiquiri, strawberry oh, daiquiri, which a I'm wine sh- glass, but hers is a oh, a little cup. No, no, she she has like a yeah, which I'm sure the again bartender is fucking hate it when you order with frozen rum and something sweet, something mm. sweet, Ooh. frozen. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, I think so no, all he drinking. knew that they were filming. He knew that Janelle and Christine were filming together, so he's got a call so that he could do damage control. That's yeah, all in Christine this. was like, nope, not, not picking it up, babe. Nope, nope don't care. Let's see, yummy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But it sure feels good on the other side. I'm just saying. I'm a big fan yes. of divorce. I'm just saying. People that are that. thinking about it, I say, go for it. I've been That's thinking weird. I need to divorce my husband. Oh, okay, God, do it. Absolutely do it. I'm like, now do it. Do it. You're already miserable. Stop pretending to be miserable and pretending to be happy. It might be terrible advice, but I'm not a therapist or a psychiatrist or anything. I just know how it feels on the other side, and it's awesome. So true. It is. That is. She hit the nail on the head. I'm yeah. at uh, 3344. I know. It's so nice to I celebrate two days not being with Cody anymore. The day of our divorce, which is the day I kicked him out. Ooh. And then, yes, our ex anniversary of when we were married, too. Absolutely. So, how are you? Okay. Yeah, go for it. I'm I not afraid. Like so, they have so, so many questions. Oh, so how sorry. are you hearing that, though? About, I mean, that's just a question for me. I'm just curious. When you how is Janelle her? hearing what I'm saying about Cody in my relationship? Yeah, does that bother you? No, no. Janelle's oh, known yeah. how bad it's been between Cody and I for years. Oh, yeah. I've been talking oh, to her for years. Yes. You know, I don't really care that Christine's telling her stories. I don't feel a lot of obligation <laughs> or loyalty to Cody right now. So I'm like, say what you want to say. Yes, girl. They yeah. tried everything. I watched the fight. They fought for it, but it just, just, oh. seems, it just doesn't work anymore. So you guys are good. Us? Sure. No. Janelle and I. Oh, Janelle's Cody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have our middle midlife struggles. <laughs> this is the first time I'm meeting these people. I'm not going to, like, spill all my guts and all my innermost secrets. Oh, no, Janelle. That would be crazy if you did that. Who knew? Oh, my guts. That would be as crazy <laughs> as spam-flavored macadamia nuts in Hawaii. Oh, only in Hawaii. <laughs> to think i'm really weird like i just need to like this is not a conversation you have on the first time you meet somebody janelle's wearing little (laughs) pearl earrings and in her talking heads sensible pearl earrings i don't want them to think i'm crazy we go out to lunch and they're all like eating and just like we talk just (laughs) crazy she's just never hung out with like a group of girls no. at a girls watch was that no wasn't like do. mary and robin um yeah. i'm at 3503 at least not me not me well and we and christina and i've decided How that we're really the, the cool fun group anyway so <laughs> yeah so we're like thinking about finding some sort of home base that works because the kids are spreading out all over the country so in utah the polygamists will often build houses that are meant for more than one family so they have more than one kitchen 
like what we had in Lehigh, where there was three kitchens, the rooms. Oh, the house all you bought in Lehigh, it, we got it. Yeah, and, and the house that you all lived in when things were actually working as a family. Oh, until right. fucking yeah. Robin and her dumb kids moved in. Or, yeah, dumb, but we just need a playhouse house so we can live together, but have separate lives or whatever, and then the kids can just go back and forth, just like in Mihai. Oh, Bonnie really wants me to give me gifts. I do. I just guys. Oh, Grandma Vegas. Dinner is a thing here for my fiftieth. Oh, Christmas. 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 To patriarchy again, I guess. I'm gonna be the head of my household again. Wow. Check out Cody's rock hard abs and pecs while he's sitting in that chair. That's just, all I was looking at. I mean, I was just, I was like, Whoa. wow, that is some flat <laughs> abs right there, Cody. <laughs> I mean, he's not such exploding a boy, out of his boy, Okay, Amanda. <laughs> I'm not read, just an object. It. I never thought I did until he said that. I realized maybe he wanted to. Okay, so I have a question about Cody. Okay. Are we ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. So I know Janelle's living situation. So then there's two more ladies? Yes. So and, um, Mary and Robin. Mary and Robin. And they live out. Robin lives She's out trying to play dumb. Property. Okay. Yeah. And then meanwhile, Janelle's just in the background eating a flourless chocolate cake. Yep. <laughs> It's actually flan. It's actually flan. Who knew? <laughs> Is that flan? Yeah, like, oh, I'm, okay. I thought it was a flourless chocolate like cake. Creme brulee with like a mixed berry on top, and some and some whipped cream and some ice whip. cream on top. Um, oh, sensible. Yeah. No, this lady's like, and then um, out there, it's uh, Robin Alice Brown Sullivan Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what's her name? Come again? on. Um, as yeah. if you're not watching, if I had any friend who was ever on a TV show, I would watch every goddamn minute of oh. it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mary lives in town here. And then Cody has his own house? He probably wishes he had his own house. He rotates? Um, not really, he doesn't see Mary um, anymore. Like she's not in the picture, like as far as a real marriage like that goes. Oh. But he's um, <laughs> at Robin's house. Like you? No different, because I've left him. And oh, I had that Sheila. Well, I think she wants to stay. Girl marriage works kind of good if you're not really like if you're not really wanting to necessarily be married. You can still be connected to a family. Right. Mm -hmm. She's good friends with Robin, and she loves the kids. So Robin and him mainly live together. Yes. Ouch. Got it. I don't like so this girl. that's not how it always was. No. Like, no. no. When, like, for many, many, many years. Oh yeah. There was, Whoa. Like, he would just hold be on. Around stop. In house. Stop. Stop. I. Everyone, if you can watch two things at once, don't leave here. Just got an alert. Simple Treasures for Sale is gone live. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they go on for an hour, and we're about to wrap this up here so okay, everyone can transfer okay, over to Simple saying, Treasures. Ready. Wendy and the Blind Guy. I'm also, at Janelle just totally showed her hand here. She's like, well, listen, I mean, look at me. It works really well if you just want, like, want a family, like someone to watch your kids so you can go work full time and, <laughs> yeah. you know, just bring home Not a paycheck if you're happy with it. Yeah, that's great. Like there was a rotation. It's so not always been rotation. like a. It's not always been so predominantly in Robin. Flagstaff has been predominantly though. Flagstaff has been different. Yeah. When I used to live like me, when we were just more secretive and stuff, and in our community, I never had girlfriends that weren't in polygamy. I haven't had a group of ladies like this ever out of polygamy ever. So it was important to us to go public because it was until last year, in case over the 10 years that we've been doing this, um, until last year was a second turkey felony to purport to be married. Right, so you can have an affair all you want, but if you dare say that you're with a guy who wants to call you wife and who wants to support you financially, that's a second degree felony. Like, until this last year, now it's too criminalized in Utah. Now that Christine has left, people are like, oh, it's polygamy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. It's not. It's human nature, and this happens in, in tons of marriages, monogamous or otherwise. This is just re relationship 101. And look, people change. So now we're at being all serious. What was your tipping point? He just hasn't been the greatest dad to my kids. I don't Ooh, know if she's a poor marriage as far as any of it. I think if people want to live it fine, but I just, to be honest with you, I don't see it as a great family structure, and I really have a hard time with it. But I think once a guy finds the love of his life, the other women are screwed. Christine forced herself True. into my life. She, she basically just insisted <gasps> that we be married. I, I don't care what? that she's leaving. What? You know, what? I mean, I, it hurt initially, but I'm fine. 
It's just stop trash talking me to my children. What? <laughs> what a what did I just hear? Asshole. She forced she, herself. Oh. Member with cap in hand. <laughs> oh, that's right. However, you and I just read New York Times bestselling book, Becoming Sister Wives. Yes, and we, we hear the story about how Christine was dumped or Christine left. They found another underage, underage girl. girl whose parents were like, Ugh, at the last minute. And then right. he showed up at Christine's house. And, and was like, hey, like they were engaged in like work a out day. With her. Yeah. Yeah. And he called her on the me, phone and Cody. was like, Jen Oh, go ahead. He go called ahead. her on the phone at one point and was like, you know, Janelle is just driving me crazy. And she was like, who's Janelle? And he's like, oh, my second wife. And she was like, what? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Where were you going to say? Yeah, but, um, I totally forgot. It doesn't matter. It's Nachos. just angry spewing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, it, it's, it, it appears to me that no one can really tell Cody what to do. So your argument that she forced herself into your family to raise yeah. her children is... Ugh, Christine's so scary. Fit the so intimidating, yeah. Christine. Is. Oh, I know. Cody, my masculine man! And that's when he was spraying everyone yeah. with the hose on the soccer field. So or when Ariola funny. crawled up on her lap and said, look at you, why are you all red? I mean, we pulled out your shirt on camera, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty-eight forty-one is my timestamp. Um, we had a conversation, and he just basically said he wasn't attracted to me anymore, and we weren't going to have a physical marriage. And about a, a couple months later, I just said, "You're not allowed in my bed anymore, or nor in my bedroom." Yes. That was mm -hmm. one of the best days of my life. Oh. And I turned the corner of my house, and I just went, "Yes." Did you have oh. a moment like that when you're because I, I remember the moment I had when Bacon Fingers broke mm -hmm. up with me, like when we finally okay. ended it, and I just stood in my kitchen and it was the exact same thing, just a oh, like I full like you're breathing for the first time and you um, did you have one of those out? Yes, you, yeah, you yeah. had like a um, yeah, but I was still under like so much stress, like oh my god, now I have two jobs and like oh my I god, know. I'm gonna be able to, like afford to keep this house and all that but like for sure just having like your own breathing space for sure because you lived with him for like a few months right after you broke up oh like almost five months yeah i lived with brad mm -hmm. for six months except that was fun. well like as we're like going through all the proceedings and all that kind of stuff yeah oh that's rough remember, yeah remember he wanted to live together Oh, that's six like, years. Until Googie turned 18. So stupid. He needs someone like, to, uh, to nurse his wounds. Yeah, and that's when I was like, uh, I, I know exactly where I was sitting. And I know exactly where I said. Crazy. I said, you have to be, God, or I, <laughs> no, wait, I said, you have to be fucking kidding me if you think I'm going to live in this house and have you walk by me for the next six years. Yeah. In like clearing his throat and like snorting and uh, <laughs> hacking up in, in, the, in, the shock, in the morning. Hi, the shock on his face <laughs> oh, really? that like that wasn't going to happen. That what? I was the crazy, I was the crazy one to say oh, well, yeah. that's not well, going to work. You're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, what do you think? I mean, like, so the house and I'm going to have to get a place. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. you're an adult. Bye bye. bye, bye. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, that's what happens. But at least he got a one bedroom apartment for three people living there. Him and his two kids. That worked out. It's working oh, out like a gym. Two futons. It's pretty comfy. Okay. Yeah. Two like teenagers. This, this is very now get to sleep in the. Together. Um, yeah. yeah, this is now buried in the safe space. hot 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 episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's buried all the way down. Okay, just, uh, yeah, Jody keep it Boy, mom, just like just like simple <laughs> treasures for sale. We're keeping it mum, no tagging, no Mom's telling. Work. Walter's getting like worked up here. He's like, all right, you're at about three hours, bitch. Uh, it's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrap, wrap it, up. it up. All right, I'm at 39 Tag minutes and two seconds. And then, oh, and then by the way, at the end of this, there's a mid season trailer. Oh, yes. I feel like that would be something Cody would fully embody. Oh, yes. I am still jaded. Today is my ex anniversary and I'm a little bit frustrated. You know, I'm doing my best. Well, I'm having a good day, believe me. 
but it still was a failure. I just wish he would have sat us all down and said, look, I found the love of my life. I found Robin. She and I are soulmates, and we want to live together for the rest of our life. So let's figure out how to make the other three of you work in yeah. this scenario. What's the dynamic for two? But you know, like now, I mean, no. well, every, all the wives, was it, um, how, how did it affect that relationship? Not just your kids with, with like sister wives? Yes. Uh, there'll be some sister wives that I'm not that close to. There'll be some that I'm always going to be close to. Like, I'll always be close to Janelle, and our kids will always be super tight. Okay. But my relationship with Robin, my relationship with Mary, isn't getting any better. It's not going to change. It's like any family. Yeah. And so, um, just some... Janelle and I are always going to get along. We, I and I think this. now we look at ourselves, we'll just always be sister wives. Yeah. Always. Aww. You know? Always. No, yeah, in fact, it's easier in a way. Oh, now. gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So. When we decided oh, to go without back them first, tainting the water. Yeah. Yeah, without them uh, sharing a dick, a tiny yep. little stinky dick. Or just like oh, stirring the pot outside. over nonsense. Uh-huh. That plural families weren't all about control and suppression. We actually had an awesome family and we loved our kids and we loved our family. We, were, we loved raising this big, huge, happy family. And through the years now, when now Robin came. I'm showing a divorce and a family that's, gosh, broken now. And now we're just being so vulnerable. But it's okay because it's real. All right, ladies, I really can't thank you enough for doing this with me. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. New beginnings. Thank you. Still to come. All right, here we sister go. Wives. You know, obviously my marriage is not good. I, I don't think I really even am married anymore. Do you know what she's talking about here? And what she's hinting at here? My heart just started pounding hard. Being here at the B&B has become my safe space. Happy anniversary to me. <laughs> Weird. Look at that dead tooth. Oh, oh my god, the tooth. <laughs> I've been married to four women. Everything's a test. Pick me. Do something for me. Do something for me. Yeah, God forbid. How's the best for Cody wants to come over and see the new apartment that I've moved into. Oh. I'm looking at this apartment. I'm like, I'm not even welcome here, I don't think. It's very, you think? very painful. It does not make sense to us because we're like, we're family, what the heck? Shut if he up. were to give me what I needed in a relationship, I would stay. He's not going to stop being Robin's husband. Before we have kids, should we do presents and then have kids? And Robin and I are going to be like this. You're not going to separate us. <gasps> he actually said to me, I have no desire, Mary, to have a relationship with you. I know that you are capable of loving me. You have loved me. I can't be what you want me to be to you. It's not fair for me to be alone like I have been for years. This yep. isn't what I want. Oh, it's not what you want. Mary's not part of the equation. Too many heartbreaks. I don't know how to let go. Screw him. It's not worth it. Yep. Nice. Oh my God, Mary said it. That's amazing. So what do you think? Was that not the best episode ever? That's the, the best episode stuff. ever. And uh, I mean, I I love that the kids were just putting it all out ready. there. Gwen's I like, no, I'll Brianna. come over after work. I'll come over after work yeah. and we'll talk shit. Yep. Aurora <laughs> and Brianna showed their asses and their mom's ass more than anyone ever could. Mary is just going to say screw she's him. She's having like, fun. She's having fun. And she's, I mean, we did get to see those two. <laughs> when they were, when they were running with the heating lamp, that was really funny. They were charged. It's just, and when she said, don't get me started. Don't get me I, I would see lunch. I see. Like, I don't know how long I can hang out with those two without oh. getting irritated. Like oh. five minutes. Um, oh. Now, yeah, this is definitely the best episode in at least like Sister Wives 2.0. I feel like 2.0 started when they when they moved to Flagstaff and things started getting like super negative. This is the mm -hmm. best episode since that. Yeah, but this, then of no, course this the, is amazing. Yeah, Sister Wives 1.0 had has every episode is a classic, really. But yeah, this was we deserve this. We waited for this and we deserve this. We do. Now, would you like me to read the episode description that Jean had provided? Thank you. I would have forgotten. Yeah. Okay. 
next week, don't put all your eggs in one basket. That sounds like a very oh. Cody sort of oh, cap in hand. I, l- I learned a new phrase, yeah. Christine, oh, sorry. I just turned this. Christine is excited to celebrate her first Easter since divorcing Cody. Okay, that's not a thing, by the way. Celebrate Easter. Easter. <laughs> I haven't been what? edging for my first Easter. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Janelle says her life is also better without Cody, but reveals she would consider polygamy again. After learning Aurora is interested in a boy, Mary reflects on marrying so young. Oh my God. Well, you know, uh, the boy would have to like her back first. So I think, I think we're probably safe. I I think so too. Aurora likes a boy. She likes a boy and she's 19. And while we're filming this? Yeah, 1920, but she's like 22, 23, like currently. She probably still hasn't gotten laid. Aurora likes a boy. Aurora, th- this is like um, a series of really bad babysitters club. Like Robin wrote her own babysitters club with Aurora as the star. Episode one, book one, Aurora gets her ears Aurora, pierced. Yeah, book God. two, Aurora brush Aurora likes wait, a boy. Wait, period. Ooh. Oh my god. Well, Aurora that's it, guys. Typewriting <laughs> lessons. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so listen, head to Patreon. Smash that like. You're all here. It's, we're not going to bug you. Yeah. We're not tech savvy enough to be sending you. Like anything. us on Instagram and TikTok. We just hit 801 followers on TikTok. We're blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh check us out here there everywhere what else anything else look Amanda? how ready walter as walter's like say it he's like say I it go say out. it yeah. <laughs> um love you guys we'll be here next week and uh yeah you're all adults bye 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 Yay. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time! <laughs>